CPU above 80% means that you have a lot of stuff open that's causing the CPU to have issues. Yeah, that's how most streaming services are. They require a lot of CPU power. Okay. Um do you, is your what's your channel name? Hold on one second. Ha. You killed it with fire? Killed with fire. Um, what's this program called? Huh. Well, so what if I say it's useless? That doesn't mean that you have to stop using it. I'm just, I, this sounds very suspicious to me. It sounds like a virus. What's it called then? Um, sorry to derail this, but, um, so what was your channel name? I like stuff. Is your name on here? Cart Rider or something like that? Because, like, I went to the actual live stream channel, I like stuff, and it came into, like, this, like, thing where it had, like, a banner that said, like, Always, and it said there's Cart Rider and League of Legends, League of Legends. If, if you have the huge bar across the bottom, then you'll... Know that you're live, because it'll say live at the bottom, then you'll know that you're live, because it'll say live at the bottom, then you'll know that you're live, because it'll say live at the bottom, unless you turned off the big bar, which I don't think you will say live at the bottom, unless you turned off the big bar, which I don't think you will say live at the bottom, unless you turn. If C just laughs, you know something good just happened. Oh, oh, you spelt like without an I, that's why. Wub. That's well, alright, because your channel's taken, so. Well, I can actually see your screen. User entered your channel. And I can hear myself. So it, it's taking it's it's taking my input, but it's not taking your mic input. 
No, you have to open the audio mixer and add a source from your microphone. Headset. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear yourself? Oh, shit. Um, okay. Add uh, another, like, thing. Oh, I think I have it now. Well. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear yourself? Yes, I can hear myself. Yay! And you're sure you're not just hearing each other through TeamSpeak? Yes, because I can hear my annoying voice over the actual TeamSpeak, and I can hear hers <laughs> echoing like three seconds later. Echo! Wow. This is awesome. Okay, is it too loud, the volume? Uh, I have a full amplifier connected to my thing, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not a very good person to ask. It's probably As long not. as it's not hitting the red zone, like, where it, it, as long as everything we say is not in the red, then you're good. I bet you if I can screech, it would be in the red. <laughs> uh, nope. Huh? Oh, wait, mine is, like, in the red. Shit. Yours, it's all right. You're, from what I've, what I can hear, your audio is fine. Okay. So that's what I need for that. So that's what I need for that. I can just, I can just Dead exit. Echo. Yeah, I could just. Oh, you exit. want me to echo it more? I could Hold fucking on. destroy right my back. entire sound system. No. I say, come at me, bro. Don't destroy my headset, bro. Not your headsets, mine. My microphone input, my speaker okay. input, and my headphone input. For these, this little mixer option, do I, is it just some average or left or right? Average. Like, be right back. Oh, it, it's like, like, what do you mean? Like your how it sounds on the I actual. I don't fucking like, know. Hand? It's giving me. I, I'm clicking this thing here, and it says some. Average left or right? Uh, it's pretty good from, like, I, I guess. I, I don't okay, even know I'm switching. About. I'm switching to average then. How's that? Sounds about the same. Uh, I guess it. I guess what it means is from the freaking, you know, the place. Actually, if I can talk like this, I could probably... God damn it, there I go again. I can never stay on track. Okay. Okay. So... I take it for the people that are listening, an average will be like it doesn't come from left or right side of the ear. Yeah, well, since I set it, to, or since I told you to set it to mono, yeah. there is no left or right. There's only both. Oh well, that doesn't fucking matter then. Pretty much. Okay. That's pretty good though, because then you don't have to deal with people having audio in one side and having like a whole bunch of extra bandwidth being wasted on stereo quality. I, I know exactly what average does then. It, it makes takes up more resources. Okay then. Okay, so when I exit out of the audio mixer or whatever, it just it defaultly saves it, or do I have to keep it open? Well. Yeah, it saved it. Okay. I was waiting to see if I could hear myself before I didn't tell you whether or not it worked. Okay. Yeah, it saved it. That's wonderful. Fucking great. I think Back. I may got this. You're not missing much, except for maybe an idiot just now learning how to use live stream. Even though she had a fucking account for forever. But Derp. yeah, I'm hipster like that. Derp. I'm gonna kill myself right now. I, I just looked over at my like surround sound amplifier, and it says TV cable on it. 
but one of the segments halfway through there's three leds in each segment on the like letter so halfway through the e there's just an led missing and it's pissing me off so much so what does zoom in and zoom out do the do Yes. Uh, it'll just, actually like you can you can make it zoom in on the actual like area that you want it to zoom in on. Oh, uh, will this eat up my bandwidth? Uh, zooming actually won't get rid of bandwidth, but it'll help hide like anything you don't want them to see. Like if you were entering like for some strange reason, if you're on live stream entering credit card information, you could like <laughs> zoom it off to the side. Why the? F <sighs> okay. I don't know why people would do that, but it happens. I don't have a credit card. Well, it's just like you can zoom anywhere you want on the screen, so then it only shows that area. So if you want people to just see what you're working on in your art program, you can make it zoom in on just the art program, and then they don't have to see your like your start bar or okay. anything like that. Okay. Okay. You know what? I, I, I well, this uh, well, I have to see if I saved it. Yes, it's to SCP talks. Um. Okay, and I can stream porn on here, right? Uh, yeah, low quality porn, yeah. Low quality? It's not necessarily high quality. It's good enough for art, but not good enough for, like, reading or, I guess, almost watching high-def movies or something. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, art porn. Yeah, yeah, it's good for that. Oh shit, son! <laughs> okay, let's just say I'm going to have fun with this. Okay. So weird hearing you and then hearing you a second after. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just testing out my thing. Yep, live stream right there. And will it take me to the old live stream or new live stream? It takes me to the old. Okay. Sorry, but I had to test that. And yeah, I believe me. I understand. Because <laughs> I, I, every time I want to use this, I don't want to have you do that. Okay, let's see. We are going to... Fuck it. Uh, oh I'm going to just submit something, and by the way, I really don't give a shit. I'll zoom in on a random porn picture as I do this, if you want. Okay, um... You going to go and test your zooming feature? I don't want to test no zooming. Knowing my luck, the zooming feature will end up crashing somehow, because that, that's my luck. Right there. Get everything working and have it all crash and burn. <laughs> yes. I'm not I'm not testing that zoom feature. It's going to be treated like I treat what was it? Join me and it's not going to have anything at all. Okay, now. Um uh, who, uh, yeah. Okay. After derping So anyways, this is a fucking breakthrough. Congrats. And I'm not turning... I think the only thing I should really just keep is the Skype. Live. Stream. Testing. Accepting uh, Affecting, of course. That's what I meant. No. Yeah, by the way, I, I don't know how to spell much. Accepting. How the hell do I do that? I think it's like that. No. What am I trying to spell here? Yeah. Okay, I, I know there's, like, something I'm missing. You know what? Shit. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. 
This is why I, I like to do things the lazy way. Right, I'm just going to go home and just say accepting, and it, it's uh, go, it's going to just know what I'm looking for. Now shut up for a minute, I think it, it can hear you. Accepting. There we go, that's the word I was trying to... Shit. I just realized. Um, okay. I, I need to copy paste this fucking link because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, that comes to a surprise to everyone. Um, no, not quite the opposite. Not really. Uh. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Shut up. Blarg. Ah! Okay, what, what, what I... What's these random screams? I don't know, I'm like... a... Do I really have to type in all these keywords just to freaking, you know, no, no, no. Exotica. Do you, um, do you know how to use the chat feature so you can talk to the people in your chat? Oh, uh, yeah, I did, I did that before, bro. Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure. See? Hello, hello. But why the hell is my color that way? It should be not blue. Hey, it's black We're... on the actual live stream thing. Uh, I'm... There we go. That's the color. This color. Oh my god, it's purple! God, I feel like to the ranting griffin. Curse you and your fucking gayness. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, um. I don't know if they allow me to have the word in twice, so I'm just going to say feedback, feedbacks. I don't know. They, uh, yeah, I don't know if they allow that or not. Well, yeah, it's uh, F.A. <laughs> it explains a lot. It's going to be adult because, yeah, this is the furries and they always request adult shit. I know I'm going to get several <laughs> pictures of people wanting my character to masturbate. Uh, it doesn't... Oh, and I don't know if... Let's see, I'm going to do a one little test. I should... I think I should, like, exit this, um... Yeah. I'm going to exit that. Oh, hey. Hello, guy. User left your channel. Hello. Oh shit. Why am I t t typing hello? I'm. I don't know. You can hear me, right, Truth Brony, dude? Yes, I can. In fact. <laughs> what me. the fuck? I I go. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Wait. I got a question. Can I click click icons even though they're in between a little thingy? Like oh, and when I. And when I uh, minimize the little option thing here, can I maximize it to where it is again? I think you can, yeah, you should be able to minimize and maximize it just by clicking one of the buttons on the side. No, I'm talking about the little menu I have here, or should I just leave it as is? Well, you can, if you're going to need it moved, like if you need it moved, then minimize it. Yeah, but do I have to like... Do I have to do all the hassle just to fucking, I don't know, get it to maximize where it is again? 
I I don't remember. Just try it. Minimize it and see if it's just in the same spot to maximize it. Okay, okay, I got I got it now. Yay, I feel like a fucking retard. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're gonna do this. Oh wait, before before we, before I go and draw, I, I need one more test. Add up. How much do you see you as uh, being taken up by this frickin' Mathaki thing here? Okay. Um. No, that's not how you minimize it. I, I'm being a retard. I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. <laughs> Shut up, Wrath. Shut the fuck up. Okay, um... Yay, guys, you get to hear a song that I'm probably not going to submit because it fucking sucks. But anyways, this is just a test of songs. If anyone else besides DJ GLaDOS is listening... There's two other people in here. Are there two other people in here? I don't know. Oh. Can you guys hear that? Or can you? I can. That's all I need to know. Okay. Right. Um. Those that are watching, you can so, like, totally go into, like, the live stream chat and just pester me for freaking requests now. I thought I'm probably going to not get to them until later because I am working on a new reference sheet. But still, I could do them. Shit. Draw you shit? Okay, I'll draw you a turd. Yes. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm slightly buzzed. You, you don't say. <laughs> you, you have mentioned that several times. Well, I have to mention that to the people that just joined because they don't know anything. And so it'd be polite for them to know what the fuck's going on. So basically, kids, you're hearing me on a buzzy night. Yes, kids. Set You, you set your stream link as adult, and this chat is for, I guess you could classify it as an adult radio broadcast, so... Yeah, I don't know why the fuck I'm saying kids. Well, then again, I am over a hundred. <laughs> Joking. That's illogically impossible unless we go by um Twilight logic. Ah, beer is good, but Mountain Dew is better. No wait, this isn't beer. This is wine. Mountain Dew is still better. Now that gets me energy buzz. I want to get, like, I don't know, relaxed. Oh, shit. Uh, probably... Oh, hi. No, Chinchia. Alcohol is bad. You should feel bad. No, Chinchia? Um, no, I... It's, uh, I think it's wine. It's sweet, but it's wine. I, I guzzled, like, another bottle earlier the whole thing <laughs> and, and now I, I can't tell so anyways a uh, person is the uh, freaking live is the live stream working can you hear me is this a is it pointless for me to talk they can they, yeah they can hear you oh. and they can hear me I can hear good you can listen to my drunk ass Yep. <laughs> uh, I might promote you to moderator if I get enough people. I don't know. I'm talking That's... about you, pony person. Wait, you mean me? Yeah, you. The guy that I'm talking with. Could use an yeah. Adam. Wait, could use an Adam in. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm thinking about just doing live stream shit because li live stream allows adult content. To an extent. What? They're better than most. They're better than most, but if you start streaming like active porn on there, they uh they don't like that. 
Well, it's not going to be active porn. It's just me drawing a fucking picture of a cunt and a fucking dick These penetrating each time. other. And that, hey, you started that was streaming. The, that was the team speak, by the way, guys. Because they just heard the probably the user disconnected from the channel. Ah, uh, they should. Yeah, they should be able to hear that if you can hear it, yeah. or if it's being accepted as a mic input. I don't know. It probably is. Why the hell is that being accepted as a mic input? What the fuck? Because it makes sound. It makes sound exciting. You know, I could be an asshole and just ban everyone, but I'm not going to do that because I can't even find where the fuck that is. And I don't really care. Except no. Except no. Wait, who's no? I said except no. <laughs> you won't do that. Oh, I thought you said there was an actual person here that was no. No. <laughs> so, no is here? There is no one besides Chinchia in this in the stream. But there is no one, so where is no one? Can anybody else in the TeamSpeak server please just save me? No. Hey Misha, nope. you What's suffer up? on your own. Hey Misha, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, oh, okay. I'm and just up and I, just to see what's going on. I'm and I'm just like testing better. shit. That's all I'm doing. Ah, all right, cool, cool. Uh, yes, I, it was a the, mere ten minutes ago that she did not have a live stream, and now she's acting like she's the king. Yeah, because <laughs> this, I mean, I fiddled around with this before, and it's just it was complicated. And now I see the live stream's been upgraded to have a new thing. It's going to be even more complicated. So, as long as my freaking... Let's see, I'm going to check the how everything is. I like how it says my um, y y CPU is above uh, 80 when it's 60-something. Yep, it's uh, being an idiot. Uh. So, wait, shoot. Anyone have anything? Have anything like what? Uh, requests. But that requires me to open up fucking my Google Chrome, which will kill. M Should I use a uh, Internet Explorer? Cause it will like take up less no. bandwidth. It takes up more bandwidth. <laughs> than Google never, Chrome. Never, never, ever use that ever. Okay, no no Internet Explorer. What about Firefox? Well, is it easy on the resources? Uh, Google Chrome is the easiest on the resources, because Firefox uses its own build. Oh. So you can launch, you can use Chrome. Like, there's not there's anything wrong with that. It's just, it, if you use, like, if you have, like, if you're like me, and you have, on average, 20 to 60 tabs open, you can't really do that. <laughs> on a live stream, because it will just fucking crash my computer. And I'll get, like, a blue screen of death. I get B-Sods all the time. But I get it for stupid reasons. <laughs> for instance, you using, um, Internet Explorer. <laughs> Yeah, because so many people use Internet Explorer. So many. You have used the you you have opened Internet Explorer. Your fucking computer had, went blue screen. Would you like to restart? That would be pretty terrible. User joined your channel. Hi, user. Hi. Hi. By the way, if you have a team speak, you can join us at, what was it, voice.exanacreations.com. Brony will um, put that in the chat if he plays. I feel like it. You do? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, dude, if you want to join this chat after you find out what forecast is, then uh, I can give you the URL for it if you have team speak. Right, if he... not, then no biggie. 
Well, there's a lot of people here that join that doesn't have that have no idea what the fuck Furcast is. Well, F and T and Furcast are the two reasons that this exists. So. Well, but still. How do you even? How did anybody else find this team? Oh, I guess no. I guess if because other people this added is them. like also um this is like a place where people come to game. That's another f- function of this. I know that, but I mean, like, it's, the TeamSpeak server on here is for people who know what Xana Creations is. Because they know what Xana Creations is, and that's how they found it. I guess unless somebody that, like, from here invites somebody in, then I'm, it makes I'm sense. From, I'm from here, and I'll invite them in. That's, yeah, that's what I thought. I was just, I, I asked them if they knew what Forecast was, and I was telling them to go and check it out and see if they want to, you know, see it. Oh, yeah. By the way, no 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 freaking in no advertisement for Furcast here, by the way. Wait, wait, I just yeah. No, nah, it's too late. I've already done advertising for it and I told him to go and look at it and he thinks it's interesting. Ah oh, shit. Oh well. <laughs> oh well I I'm typing the thing in anyway. Um don't don't Zana go creations. to that uh, if it's yeah, I think you just need an S or something. It's not a URL, it's a domain for the server. You can only connect to it if you use TeamSpeak, hence why I asked if you had TeamSpeak. Yeah, you can download that too, it's free if you have a client thing. Don't, I don't think server would help though, so don't download the server. No, no I'm saying that in order to get onto the server to talk to us, you have to enter that domain into the connections page. Yeah, but they might... But if they're new to it, they have an option to download a client or a server. Oh, well, yeah, but... And then telling them not to download the server. Because I, I, I downloaded the client. Hear that shit, Shia? Don't, don't be like, don't, don't go and download servers, okay? Downloading servers is bad. You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> yeah, you, you would buy it physically and drive it that, that's why it's bad now well, i mean there is the like 300 terabyte um torrent for a car what the fuck i don't know what's in it it's you can you can find a torrent online that's for it just says a car and it's like 400 terabytes 400 terabytes that would kill my computer uh a bit I would have to save it on a terabyte drive. 400 terabyte drives. 400 terabyte drive. Oh, fuck it. What's well, bigger and than a terabyte? Buddy entered your channel. A lot. Um, I, there is something bigger than a terabyte, but I don't remember what it's called. Is it? It's it like the old megabyte or something? Nah, it has some other weird name. Like the- gigabyte. Pico, it's the P. Yeah, it's like Pentabyte. Yeah, Pico. Oh. Pico. Pico. Or is it Pico? I, I don't know. So, h- how much porn does one need to have in order to fill up a Pikabyte drive? A lot. That would that would that would be interesting because I would assume you have the the entire global network of porn there. Oh, it's petabyte. Holy shit, cutie pass. Wait, 750 gigs of... One? Good god. Good god, why? <laughs> it's petabyte. Either, okay, one of two things. You're either like Paradox and you have to download in lossless quality everything, or you just have an addiction that you really should, you should go see a doctor or a therapist or something. <laughs> right, so I actually did, so I actually looked it up. After terabyte, you've got petabyte... Then exabyte, zettabyte, yottabyte, kibabyte, mebabyte, gibabyte, tebabyte, pebabyte, exbabyte, zibabyte, yobabyte. And pretty much the last one, you pretty much, if you have a computer with that many, much space, you pretty much can go with anything. Yeah, That's enough pause. to like, store a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, that's probably well, enough to store, like, a solar system. I mean, there is the quantum processing units that have been proposed. 
how, how much fuck how, how much fucking but, space does one need if they I have to go you through all have that less bite? Than, uh, uh, Leon does. Wait, what? I feel like that would be Paradox's porn server right there, the last bite thing. Uh, the Yoda bite, Yoda bite. Yeah, the Yoda, Yoda bite. bite. Yoda bite. Yoda yeah, everybody knows that Paradox has 100 Yoda bites of porn. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. It's all in high definition. Uh, Chinchilla, are you sure you're on the actual download, like normal download page? Because I don't think it normally asks for billing information. Hmm. What? Just on TeamSpeak's webpage. Like, it, you should just say free download. Or go to the Who? download section and just click download. Who are you talking to? Uh, CDS or whatever is streaming right now, and there's one person in her live stream. Two, if you count yourself and me. Wait, no. <laughs> it doesn't count you. Hi, person I don't know. If you could, like, send, uh... I, I forgot know. your name, but send that guy a link. Or actually, there should be a link in chat. He, he said that he's downloading it. It's just he's asking for billing information, and I'm kind of like, eh, yeah, you shouldn't ask for that. Oh, he's Say downloading no. it. Just say no, we don't have any porn at the moment. Please try again later. The porn service has now been deactivated. You have a, over 165,000 yellow bytes of porn. porn. You do not need any fucking more. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the, the PayPal isn't supposed to be used to buy porn. Yeah, but it's used anyway. We, we just don't mention what it is in the description. Everybody knows that when you're sending PayPal money, you totally gotta go and add furry into the description of why you're sending it. It'll totally get you more money on the account, right? Because PayPal totally supports furries, totally, totally. You're not welcome. really. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Even though I think furries are their biggest contribution. That doesn't fucking matter. They they had the corporate thing. I just have to wonder, who the hell was the furry that just kind of went, I, like, when it was like, why are you sending this money, or why are you sending money to this person, and they went furry porn? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's probably the worst the word. choice of words you can use for a PayPal description. Furry and then porn. Goody paws. I didn't say you had problems. I was making a joke, damn it. Don't upset them. You're going to hurt my pancreas. God damn it, my lasagna hurts now. <laughs> Ouch, my lasagna! It is bleeding. <laughs> it's bleeding Ouch, out it's cheese and beef. And sauce. Ow, oh, you got me right, right in the lasagna. <laughs> it burns. Uh, you got me right in the potato. <laughs> oh no, my macaroni and cheese salad casserole dish. Macaroni and cheese casserole. You yeah, heard it here first. <laughs> your joke was funny. And you should, your joke wasn't huh, funny. And huh, you should feel bad. Funny. Oh my god, I feel so bad right now. I feel like I'm going to be naughty. Bounce like, bam, wow. Okay, you go draw yourself with your doctor tools. Oh hey, I know who you are now. You said that. Hi, Joey. Hello. It's amazing that you just say one thing and I know who you are. <laughs> yes, he's funny, yes. Not really. Yes. Who here wants to buy some dicks? Just a bunch of dicks, a bunch of dicks. Yeah, I can draw. I, 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 can... I, 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 I can draw you dicks. It will like be a dollar or something, but I'll draw it. <laughs> I don't have a dollar. Just draw a big old bag of dicks. I'm here to draw a lot of dicks. Draw a big old bag of dikes. I mean dicks. I mean um dikes. Yeah. Dykes. A big old bag of dikes. Chew gum yep, and draw dicks cutters. and I'm on a gum. Um. Did yeah, I see, uh... a big old bag of diagonal side cutters. Why the fuck did I do that? Because it'd be a big old bag of dikes. No, I mean draw on one layer and not make it connect. This is confusing. Right, Mish. What? A big old bag of dikes would be a big old bag of diagonal side cutters. <laughs> I 
I, you know what I should do? I should be super potato. annoying, and I should like so totally just get on that t the default Wait. team speak server and just That's listen. Ty Ty, Ty the Fox. Bye bye. What? Is that Ty Ty Fox? No, this is my robot dude, and I'm Not gonna you. make like. No, a... this is Patrick. <laughs> oh. Yes, I knew it was Ty Ty Fox. Uh -huh. Mish, I want your voice in my ass. <laughs> Twenty bucks. That is yours. Kid wasn't you, Tata Fox, you know how I knew it was you? Your picture. Here. You know, my my voice in your ass, I can sing songs. Oh yeah. That's the only way I remembered it was you. No. Here, you wanna hear a song? User joined your channel. Your ass just as a sample. Hi user, that. is this is this the person User that... joined your channel? Hi. Hi, one of you, you is you the person that was on my live stream. No, nope, probably not. Oh. Nope. Oh. That's so sad. Is this the person from my live stream? No. Oh. <laughs> ah, because I'm expecting, like, I don't know. I hope I freaking spelled it right. I didn't do it, Tata. No, I probably did it, because I, I'm sort of tipsy at the moment, and... It hasn't been delivered yet. What hasn't been delivered? The baby? A message. Oh. My dick. I sent Tata Fox a message on, uh, Kick. Kick. Yep. And for once, I'm putting effort into a goddamn reference sheet. But yes, I think I also have you on Skype somewhere. Well, of course you have me on Skype. Not you. Oh. Yeah, there you are. Not you. You no, not you. I know it isn't, but it but the your old account was. And that's and that one still has that picture of you, your face on there. So I'm like, oh, okay. I knew I knew that face from somewhere. Knew that face from porno. Porno Eccentria. Porn? Porno? Or porn. Where's Ember at these? Yes? Ember's probably jacking off to a lesbian right now. That's probably where she's at. Or her and Griffin decided to be polyamorous. She's not online at all today. I know, which is a surprise. She usually is always online. I know! Her parents probably dragged her out of town. Wait, but, she but, What? She's only 17, remember. So? Does it Who stop knows, me? Maybe her parents went on vacation or some shit. I doubt she's it. She's like, nope. I doubt it. I think... I doubt it. I know somebody in my class is suing a shoe company. A what? <laughs> yeah, because there was a piece of metal in her shoe that didn't User cut her foot and stuff. From your channel. And so wow. she's suing them, and she's getting money. What the fuck? What, why can't I uh, go into some fucking place and just sue someone for some ridiculous ass reason and well, get no, this money? Well, it was a shoe company because they it, there was like a freaking piece. Of Instead, metal I have to draw fucking commissions, which I really get really much of. So she's getting well. Like, then have your foot sliced off by a piece of metal that's like in stuck inside your shoe from bad manufacturing, and then sue them for like ten grand. I'll do that then. And you're then I'm just like, gonna buy a lot of. Really... I'll just buy a vaporizer and pot with it. That's what I'll do. Wow. I know. Why the fuck not? I've already started Wait, see drinking. This, see this. See this. What? Have I shown you what I might be getting as a graduation gift? So, no. Dude, you'll probably receive like three cents from me. Never said from anybody on here. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I should probably make that a little bit more. Or just give like a demonstration of what's on his chest. You know, Chinchia, I'm really quite surprised that you're still here because listening to us just really. <gasps> a potato. A potato? Bitch, what'd you say? 
Bitch, please. How's That's your what I'm going? Because I'm a potato. Mecca, look in the but in the, everybody looking at Dupree. Yeah, how the hell? How... I'm. Oh. Uh, ooh, Cintiq. Yes. We could like do this right after every fur cast, since yeah, yes. everyone's. We just like... all just yelled Link in the Dupree, and then just run around and circle. <laughs> Link in the doobly boobly babbly boobly. What? I don't know. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you all epically on a uh, big uh, face? I don't know. Why is there a definition in next to a word? To a Your definition next to a word. Your definition next to a word. I picked up my dog's butt by his tail. You did? What? What? <laughs> what the hell? There's a random ass thing in my fucking. No. It's a dildo. I, I killed Mexican whatever dog. it was. I'm probably. It's dead my now. My doggy won't go sleep, sleep. I, I killed. I'm gonna go sleep, sleep with your doggy. I think I killed a flea, guys. Good. See this? Why do you have fleas? <laughs> it's from my dogs. Serious? Don't let Serious? Peter know. Why do you have fleas? <laughs> I don't know. But they shouldn't be Stop here because I made with your it. Because <laughs> it's so freezing here. I go I away. Really I think it's a okay. tired. Hi, I'm um, really fucking tired. Hello, fucking tired. How are... it's nice to meet you. How are you doing today? <laughs> hey, Mr. Yeah, tired. Can I call you so? What? Where's Josh? Oh, guys. Wait, talk again, Mr. Fucking Tired. Blarg. Yep, Josh yep. Be Everyone back officially back. knows where you're at now. Jo Josh should be back by now. Where is he at? Where is Mr. Meow Meow? He he's in the porn store, because, you know, it's a freaking Saturday night. So, wait, wait, wait. You he's really are room? drunk, see this. I told you I had like a a bottle see, of see fucking. See this, see this, see this. What? You have to go get your checkup colonoscopy now. Okay then. <laughs> I'll do that it's... after I consume no. this beer. Oh okay. yeah, Chinchia here. Let me fix that. And then and then and then drink, drink a, uh, a take a shot of um. Ah. Like I, I'm, I'm not too drunk where I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm tequila. drunk enough to Take not make sense of my words. Take a shot of tequila now. I don't have a tequila. You have a tequila. Tequila. Is it Mexican have liquor stuff? Bottom, man? Wait, is it a worm or a caterpillar? What? I think it's, it's a, a drink. Tequila. No, at the bottom of the tequila bottle. I think it's a worm. Where's Griffin when you need him? You're, you're sounding more drunk than I am. Only on days that end with seven. Hey, look at that, see, see this? Now you, can, now you get to go and meet Chinchia. As soon as they set all of their communications protocols and stuff. Oh, my god, I feel so excited. Yes, I am a bitch, and where's Chinchilla? Chinchilla. Yeah. Oh, I see. see yeah, she has the mic. Uh, oh, she has the they the, the, the mic. Prefer they. Yeah. <laughs> say they. So, <laughs> sorry, no, no. sorry, person. That you you have DJ like the Glados, mic disabled or the dark. volume or something. But you can talk. Yeah, Cetus is drunk. FYI. She's drunk off of potato juice. Yes, my icon is all. She's good. she's drunk off moonshine. No, 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 no. By the no, way, guys, no, no. one of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. One of you, one of you, one, one of you. One of us. One of us. Join the potato one side. We have us. germs. We have germs, electricity, and a lot of drunks. Gonna have syphilitis. Stay away from Cedar. She is gonna have syphilitis. I I have that one thing that most people don't know yet. Gonna have syphilitis AIDS. I don't have AIDS. No, 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 no. Oh, you don't have people to help you out? Well, I guess oh, I... the GLaDOS is my aid, then. GLaDOS, you AIDS man. Wait, aid for what? AIDS, what? Because you helped me with the live stream. You're my aid. 
Y- y- oh. Yeah, see, this has AIDS. You were one of them. Oh, my. The other I, one be- I better put a condom on next time. Oh, <laughs> God. Wait, why would you have... Never mind. They have hey, female you- condoms. I know. There's actually yeah. a condoms for females, which yep. accordingly doesn't really fucking work. Use yeah, they do channel. work. Sometimes. Yeah, Female condoms are kind of me. Nee. I the better the better choice is the ring, but women don't like using that. The so. ring. Yeah. It's a it's a ring that. Contraceptive. Just, yeah, it's a contraceptive ring that you put inside the vagina and then it places itself farther back inside. It's hard to explain, but it, it it's a contraceptive. Oh, is that is that that tampon looking thing that goes even further than a tampon though? No, it, it's literally a ring. It's it's a ring. It's it looks, literally just it, a ring that you it, stick it looks in like, there. Yeah, it looks like a plastic ring that you can like. It, it's like kind of like a rubbery plastic, so you can bend it. How the fuck do you use it? We don't have a dick. Shove it in yourself, like. Ugh. How the fuck does that even work? When the man tries to penetrate my colostrophy or whatever it is. You're a woman and you don't know. No, I'm pretty sure I remember it. Cliverus, Caravarus, what the hell is Cliverus? it? Cliverus? Yeah, th- that. Is that for when the dick goes that far and it just like... Ah, is like maneuvering. a maneuvering. In- Cervix. I Cervix. Cervix. It's, Cervix. Known the, it's known as the Nuva Ring. And what, what and the... And it's... It, <laughs> it has a chemical that it, ex- that it uh, pushes out. It boosts the... Um, Hello? Hi. Hi. And then there was a picture of a naked lady. Hi, um, is this the Chiba Chiba guy? You really are bad at this. I know I'm bad. I'm fucking terrible. I suck. Wait, I don't even know what I'm doing. Why am I drawing this? I just sent a link to anybody who wants to know what the hell a Nuva Ring is. And I I suggest she just looks at it because she apparently doesn't know female anatomy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I like my alien porn. There, Glados, look at that picture no. I linked. I don't even understand Fine. male anatomy. I yeah, do. I know. I don't understand anything about the humans, and I get bitched at every day. And here, my fucking thing is probably going what? to. What? Why? Why are you linking me? That what? I don't know. That, that's that's on DVD. Well, how the fu- the okay, fuck? how the fuck is that in any way, shape, or form useful to me? It looks like something that a gay. It, it's a, it's a Do I stick that inside the Cleavix and it does something? <laughs> the Cleavix. The Cleavix, yes. You, the you Cleveland dick. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, the female a, dick. Do I stick that inside the female dick? The u- uh, Cleveland yes. Brown. You mean the urethra? You stick it in the Cleveland Brown. Or what brown. are you talking about? Because I don't understand what it is. I don't understand how that's used to prevent pregnancy. Preg- pre- pre- pregnancy. Pregnancy. <laughs> pregnancy. It, it, I, See, this I thing go is home, you're drunk. Sperm cells when it comes I, like, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what fucking shit I can come up with while drunk. It, it, it's a flexible ring that releases protogen and estrogen over three and weeks. And it kills red rated babies and texts. It, it kills sperm. It, it helps your body kill sperm. Oh, so it, it promotes the death of millions of unborn children. It's the same as yes. what a condom does, except it, actually it all it does is boosts your estrogen. Your your body. Fun fact for anybody who doesn't know this, but females actually have like their vaginal fluid is actually designed to kill sperm. I know it's. Fucking That's kind of fucking awesome, it's a mass actually. Murder. The the idea is that it kills off the bad, like retarded sperm, so that only the best sperm will make it. So if you get pregnant with this, then okay, have a but that doesn't sperm. count with children with birth defects or children that are mentally retarded. It's because that doesn't happen on the sperm level usually. It happens in the actual like egg level. So after that. It's not his fault. It's your fault. Kind of. Actually, it's a mixture of both, since he... Yeah. It, it's I, the gene protocol that comes with it. It's not necessarily the sperm's fault, and it's not the egg's fault, Naruto. it's the gene protocol. And what, what, what exactly happens, the Hey, does. what happens if you, like, get pregnated, and it ends up being, like, the newborn is, like, a cancer cell that's just formed to develop a fetus rather than normal cells? 
Wait a minute. Are you saying if you AIDS. give birth, if you give birth to a cancer, like just a cancerous tumor, like nothing, just, just you just give birth to a cancerous tumor? Is that what you're asking me? A live cancerous tumor that can interact, but it's cancer. I I don't think that's possible. I, I'm pretty sure that's not. I. I broke his brain, by the way. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Uh... Welcome to the chat, Shinjiya. <laughs> Sorry if I scare you, but I, I'm interesting and peanuts. <laughs> Naruto mm. didn't answer a single question and he still passed. I hear the. Shinjiya, all we hear is. At first I thought no, it was someone I thought at first it was someone having sex with a typewriter. I I mean cutie pause you you reach the point in your life where you're like so gay that even the mentioning of the word vagina instantly makes you unhappy. Oh, That's I can, I could just kill I could kill one sex drive. Guys, the penis is basically an inverted vagina. Oh, okay. And vice versa. Hey, did you know that women technical... just have tiny dicks? Uh, and hey, by the way, guys, you're actually born naturally female. Th did you know? Did actually, you know? you're born naturally nothing. Actually, you're born <laughs> female. Mutation, ca mutation born causes you you're, to do. You're to born female, together. otherwise men wouldn't have. Did you know? Have a flashlight in my hand. A flashlight? What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> I see it. Why do you think you're <laughs> What? I mean, how, haven't we all? I mean, most of us, at least most of us, know what forecast is, and we've all heard Pharaoh to, tell his glorious story about him being in school. I wonder if Pharaoh ever got his first suit. No, uh, not yet. No, <laughs> no, he will. He'll, no. he'll get his first suit when hell freezes over. That that's when he'll get his first suit. So tomorrow. <laughs> no. What do you mean when hell melts? So the second Tuesday of next week. Now, try if just times the seven by infinity, and that's when he'll get his first suit. How oh, come Tank's not so, in these say chats? Next seven week. infinity. Tank was a cool guy. He needs to be in these TeamSpeak chats. And yeah. I don't yeah. know who Tank is. If you guys just learn to accept newcomers, and perhaps they're not knowing everything, maybe. Cetus. Yeah. Cetus. Pharaoh's going to get his first suit second Tuesday of next week. Really? Bullshit! There is wait a no minute. second Tuesday. I was gonna say, wait a minute, there's no second Tuesday. And I said bullshit. Something's amiss in this story. I detected that See, even though I'm not really in the right mental capacity for anything. It took Metal only time. an hour that we've assimilated somebody else in this hellhole we call Xana Creations. Assimilate. Hey. At least he hasn't meet, met Richard yet. Stay away from Richard. Oh, no. yeah, shit, there's yeah, one thing. Yeah, stay the fuck away from RCP. Okay, RCP. the guy named no. RCP you want to avoid at all costs. He, he will or, literally explode. Or just fuck with him and tell him, just say shit, fuck, fat jokes. It's or, or, or he's he's hey, hey, It's hey. RCP! Shit! Speaking of the devil, yes. Uh, I mean, no, Silver Streak. Yeah, Silver Streak joined. RCP's been here the entire time, but he just has his uh, stuff muted. Um, uh, RCP I... isn't a really big deal to avoid, in my opinion. It's Josh. 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 No. Nah, yeah, Josh, Josh is ban happy though, but he's also very friendly, and he actually has an understanding. And like RCP, who takes offense to literally anything about him. RCP is just a whiny bitch. Josh can be a bit of a douche, but RCP can also be a bit of a douche. And Josh is oh nowhere near the the whiny bitch that RCP is, so in my opinion, okay. Josh is better. I missed okay. half that conversation <laughs> because my he my headset is connected, and just I, I plug it back in, and here's RCP is a whiny bitch. <laughs> mm hmm well, well, you want to know how to get rid of him? Well, that's that's what. Th I know yeah. how you can get rid of him. Just say he needs a diet and he'll leave. No, oh, you pour salt into his mouth. No, you then you get banned. You'll you'll see. RCP has banned user Cetus from the chat room. 
Just, just pour salt into his mouth and do it. That will cure it. No, wait, you need to make him laugh. That's how Leon told that. You how about a... dropping it? I have a recording you stomping on an icy. You'll never be allowed in this chat again. No, he doesn't like ICs anymore. What? I know. In one week, you're telling me he doesn't like ICs. He goes in and out of his ICs. I, I've literally Is this just like a chat. phase like for him? ICs. I just like ICs. I like ICs. I hate ICs. I like ICs. I hate ICs. And then it'll give you a, 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 an existential debate as to why ICs are superior to every other frozen slushy thing. Slurpees are the best. I like no anything that's young. fucking ice mixed with liquid there, except for the obviously not supposed to be ingested um, thing. I happen to live in Manitoba, which is the Slurpee capital of the planet. Yep, because they smell, sell cigarettes. What? Not what? Manitoba what? Cigarette Company. I, I don't... What? St- we, they don't have Manitoba you know cigarettes King here. Oh. 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 But, yeah, I live in the slurpy capital of the planet. Damn Dude, it, you got all the ice. Cutie pies, you're... Cu- cutie pies, <laughs> cutie paws, you're missing Cutie out. pies? Wait, you're a fan Wait, of MLP? What? No. Why the hell? Oh my Cute. god. Fuck it, you're thinking of Pinkie Pie. Hammer. That was just the mishmash of just words being mistaken for words. Cornograph or Game of Dream? Cutie, I'll be honest here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna fucking drive out there and buy you a Slurpee. No. I will buy a Slurpee we, we, machine. If you don't have Slurpees there, I will buy a Slurpee machine. Put it in my vehicle. I hope my character doesn't scare this guy you. off. Holy shit! Is there, I forgot. Is there a Max anywhere near you? No, 7-Eleven. Mm. Max or 7-Eleven? It has to be an official Slurpee. Slurper, slurper. Slurpees Slurpee would pop or just one good. of those ice majiggies I saw a Slurpee that truck. Max has. There's a Slurpee truck? I saw one. I'll take Most two. ice cream trucks have uh, slushies. I mean, I'll registered Slurpee. Dude, I remember back in the day yeah. that they had, like, Sonic, Patamon, and Pikachu freaking lollipops on the ice cream truck. They also used to have Sonic oh, yeah. and a bunch of other ones. Now, that was but, the good old days, but now they don't have them. Now they don't even have ice cream trucks. Yes, they do. There's one that runs around my neighborhood every day. Do you live in a small wait, town? Wait, wait, that reminds no. me of a joke. That if people are bitching about drones so much, they should have, they, every time there's a drone nearby, it should have a distinctive ice cream truck music sound. So when it, people get shot by the drone, the last thing they'll think is, ooh, ice cream. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Wow. Way to kill the truck guy. What's the population of my town? Uh, Pangus! I live, Ten. Shut up. I live in a city, uh, Brandon, Manitoba, and currently it clocks in at about 54,000. And I live in Toronto where there's two million. Yeah, I live, and in, I live the in somewhere largest. where the, my school has over four grand. Four grand? Four th- oh, students. Jesus, music. There are over 4,000 students. And they heard that. I really hope... Don't get scared. He's really a nice guy that my OC. So he won't eat yeah, there's, you. There's and 54, LWR looks awesome in sunglasses. There's 54,000 here, like in my city, and I'm in the second largest city in Manitoba. There's Winnipeg, and I don't know what its thing is. All I know is that it's the crime capital of Canada. The murder capital of Canada, sorry. Oh, so Detroit. It's the Detroit of Canada. New York. I'm actually not making that up. You can actually look around. Winnipeg is the crime capital of Canada. Or the, damn it, murder capital of Canada. Mm. And it's in, like, the worst place ever. Like, honestly, Manitoba is the one province that nobody knows anything about. Like, yeah. You can, you can be like, hey, look at the Northwest Territories. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know where that is. It's at the top of Canada. Oh, hey, look, there's the Yukon. Oh, yeah, it's just by Alaska. And, I mean, Ontario, New Brunswick, like, all... it's. 
Prince Edward Island and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I know where all of those are. Where's Manitoba? What? Is that where, a tribe? On, on King of the Hill? It's in the fucking center of Canada, but nobody knows where it is. It's in the center of hell. Get it, it right. It's on, Can- it's on um, King of the Hill. Uh, Dale smokes them every day. Shut up. <laughs> Since the third grade. Oh, I I do have to add one thing, though. Everybody bitches about their climate temperatures, and they're like, oh, God, it's so bad. Bitch, fuck up. It, it's like... It's like Move 89 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Oh, I'm dying. And then there's here Manitoba. Oh, God. It's hot outside. It's 114. Or, oh, it, shit. or in the winter, negative 40. And that's in Fahrenheit, by the way. I can switch it to Celsius, where it's positive 50 and negative 50. And my parents <laughs> just came home. Tell them to shut the fuck up. Hmm. If, you, if any of you guys ever hear somebody bitch about their climate being terrible, especially in Florida or California or one of those places, just tell them to go to fucking hell and then move so to Manitoba. Just, so you just are you 21? I, I'm drinking beer. That should uh, answer that, that question. It doesn't, it doesn't really. I'm in the United States. That still doesn't it answer doesn't. It really. Yes, I'm fucking 21. Okay. I know, I know. I go to a high school. There, There's kids that drink in the high school there's who aren't 18. My kid that sits two desks away from me that went during class and drank alcohol. I knew a and grade came nine. back. Well, let's just put it this way. I drink alcohol illegally now, not illegally. Okay. I, I had a, I, there was a grade nine I was in a class with and she would bring in coffee mug every day and just eventually the teacher's like, what do you even have in there? Bailey's? She's like, yeah. What? She puts Bailey's in her coffee cup every morning. Why? Like, she's she's 14 years old. Because <laughs> apparently alcohol wakes her up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I call bullshit on that? Well, but I I don't know. Because that's not really it. normal. She it wasn't all Bailey's. It was like Bailey's and coffee. Like oh, she so combined Irish. It. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't know anything about alcohol. Well, that's how an Irish man would drink therapy. I freaking I drink mountain like Mountain Dew and Dr Pepper and Coke. Why and that's don't drink me a Mountain Dew? Mountain, Drugs are bad. Mountain Dew and Coke. That's a fucking pussy ass drink right there. I drink me some Pepsi. No, you should just try is. energy drinks, buddy. That will help you. Energy drinks are good, but they're expensive, and I kind of... That depends that on what you buy. That depends That's on what you buy. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Wait, someone's already opening an energy drink in your face! Actually, that's a Mountain Dew can, and I opened it. Oh. Now yeah. I want Pepsi. Ew, Pepsi. I'm gonna mm. tell I'm on Pepsi. I like Pepsi. I have a two liter of this shit right here. No, but, like, I don't think honestly... Products anymore. Where I'm living? Well, Pepsi's alright. It's better than, like... It's better than Sprite. You just said, ew, Pepsi. Yeah, did, I said, did ew, you know? Pepsi. Wait, 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 got us. That, did, you, did you know that Mountain Dew was a Pepsi product? Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No. Yes. Yeah, it, it is. is. Mountain Dew is owned by the same corporation that owns Dr. Pepper. They are all a Pepsi uh, product. Pepsi. Pepsi. Uh, it's, owned by, it's owned by Sepico, which Which is, is owned by Pepsi. Which is auctioned to locations... So countries, uh, like in America, there are certain states that have the rights to, co- like Coke will have the rights to it, and Pepsi will have the rights, like, like the rights to it. They have to auction Look for it. Chat. Mm. Hey, at least I know, for, uh, I know for Richard, a fact. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Brad said he loves you, Richard. Nope. So I said I'm get wrong the about the soft drink brand only I'm, produced by PepsiCo. Okay. But Dr. Pepper mm-hmm. is auctioned. So what are you betting about? Yes. Uh, I'm going over Pepsi products. Okay, everybody, everybody, shut the fuck up. No, we'll talk all the fuck we want. Okay, I'm gonna go to Dr. Pepper. Okay, Pepsi. 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 Okay, Okay, I was wrong about that one. I do know for sure that Dr. Pepper is owned by a different company, though. Dr. Pepper is kind of like both, essentially. It, it's made by Snapple. 
Oh, by the way, person, I'm gonna, like, be right back on the live stream, so guys, entertain him. Nah. He's in our co he's in here, he's just not talking. <laughs> yeah. Lark. Actually, it's made by Coca-Cola. Uh, it's... it's in Europe owned, only. It's made by, uh, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. It's owned by Schweppes and Cadbury. Which is... What? It, 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 what? It's the same. What? It's it's the same as what I said. They have to uh, they auction it to different locations. It, we, Gladys, it's yeah. owned by the Coca Cola but, Company in Europe only. But but Schweppes is a Pepsi product. And um, Cadbury, it's and owned by Cadbury, Cadbury Schweppes. Cadbury is Coke, but what? The, it, like I, I are said, confused. They, they auction for them. So if you live in a certain area, they have to auction for them. Like, for who gets to sell it and stuff. That's why you'll find some know. places who have Dr. Pepper and Coke oh, products, okay. and some will have Pepsi and Dr. Pepper. More frequently than not, it's Pepsi. Generally, Pepsi has all the Dr. Pepper uh, auction labels, because Coke makes so much money just selling Coke that they don't need Dr. Pepper. Yeah. So, so Richard. Yes? How's that cake coming? Yeah, they didn't make it for me. Damn it. But what uh, I will say is, is a friend of mine that I told him the idea of J-Lube and Five Gallon Buckets at a school, uh, he's actually doing a senior prank. And no, it's not Leon Fox. I, I, I feel like he's going to get um suspended and not be able to walk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they mentioned most of his friends at high school is, is, uh, is in on it that are graduating. Not anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a group of like fifteen people that are. Uh, that yeah, are they ain't graduating that. anymore. But, oh. Uh, oh, I figured out I figured why I was wrong. wrong. Uh, it wasn't Mountain Dew; it was Seven Up. Dumbass. Dumbass. So anyway, back to, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Uh, he is ordering four bottles of uh, J Lube, and are going to make um, what it was it five five um five gallon or. Five five gallon buckets, so I mean that, that's a lot of J lube. Gallons. And then all went silent. Yep. You guys just missed me. That's Richard, all. Richard, what were you saying? You just what the fuck? Long post long is long, post. but essentially it just it's. Pretty much it explains what I'm talking okay. about. <laughs> okay. Still fail. Basically, basically, a friend of mine uh, that is still in high school that's graduating this year, um, I got him to do as a senior prank with a couple of his friends to uh, basically take uh, um, five gallon buckets and um, put it in the hallways of this school. Yeah, they ain't graduating anymore. <laughs> exactly. I hope they know that. Well, they'll probably still be graduating. They just won't be walking. Yeah. Basically, uh, the the day before the end of the you know the end of the, you know school day, uh, they're going to go down the the main part of the the, the main in the school. There's main a hall, main, main hall. Yeah, the main hallway. And uh, right before school starts, they're going you know when everybody's in the cafeteria and whatnot, and people are still getting there. Uh, when the hallway is pretty much you know cleared, they're going to uh, basically strategically place uh, five five-gallon buckets and just drop them and all over the floor. <laughs> this stream's uh, yeah. been going for an hour and thirteen minutes now. That that <laughs> seems. Richard, the, you you fucked them over with their graduation. Now here's the funny part. Could it's you imagine being one of the underclassmen going, "This is just lubricant," you yeah, know, and yeah. whatnot, put, you know, slapping their hand in it a couple of you times. You can promote it if you, want, it if you want. Walking over to the bathroom and starts just whacking it. <laughs> I can see a mentally challenged student actually doing that. I can see some like mentally challenged student in like a wheelchair just like reaching over and going. This is nothing more than, more than some type of lubricant. No, 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 I got it. No, 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 no. We 
We had this, uh, I, I actually <laughs> That did, was uh, our furry <laughs> mating call for people in live stream. Stream. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah, but <laughs> Amazing. So I used to be a uh, TA for um, life skills, and uh, there were were some kids that uh, were were mentally like fucked. Not fucked. there. What? Meant they were <laughs> mentally fucked. Yeah, and basically, I remember this one kid that that actually did do that and throw a noise. You know, he would he would get upset or just 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 stressed out. He would just do. <laughs> There's a kid in my school that talks to himself, telling himself stories. What? Because he's crazy. He, like, makes up stories and, like, far off things and fantasies and shit. It's hilarious. Oh, we had a girl named Carissa that did that in Life Skills. She, he, the guy, like, puts his hand over his mouth and just starts talking to himself. It's really weird. Really weird. Holy shit! We had a kid just like that, too. Fucking name was Dylan. He, uh, he, uh, found us, or he kept on talking about Top Ramen. This guy actually, like, made stories and shit. It's weird. Oh, shit. There's gotta be And then there's this one really bitchy blind girl. Oh, that sounds like uh, every blind girl. girl. Yeah. No, no, no. The other blind peep girls are freaking nice. This one's just a bitch. Well, it's a blonde. What do you expect? I said blind. Oh. I remember this... I remember this uh, one kid, uh, I can't remember his name, but basically, um, he, uh, he had, like, the, he had a, he had a younger age group brain, so he was, like, you know, 16 years of age, and he acted like he was eight, right? So, basically, or, like, five-ish, somewhere there, or, well, maybe older, but, yeah, anyhow, um, he he had a bad ta- you know uh, temp or temper tra- tantrum or whatever we, we call it temper tantrum <laughs> bitch fit temper tantrum yeah he had a bitch fit um one of the things he liked so fucking much and this is like a sixteen year old fucking kid right or teenager acting like he's like six he loved what's that blue train Thomas Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. yeah he loved Thomas. And, like, choo like, choo, like, motherfucker. Like, choo, mother- <laughs> exactly, that's exactly <laughs> where choo choo, motherfucker came from. That is amazing. But, <laughs> long story short, um, he used to love fucking Thomas and, and the trains and whatnot. And for instance, he would he would he would he would tell stories about how the the train you know took him to school and shit, and he had a train backpack, a train fucking, you know, uh, you know, um, lunchbox, it's just, uh, that fucking kid, man. Choo-choo, motherfucker. Ah, oh, what was his name? Oh, that was is actually amazing. Care the principal. Anyways, I'm gonna head out for the night now, guys. Richard, there's <laughs> a man in yeah. town, kid in my school that they would share the principal. Then how will I have an astromography? He threw a chair at a principal. Oh, that was nothing. Fuck. I remember, um, there was this one kid named Forrest. This was in the year of Forrest Gump. Gump. He, uh, he had the worst temper tantrum ever. And, um... Did you ever tell him to run for fun? Actually, I did once. (laughs) He, He actually fucking left school. I haven't seen the kid since, I don't think. Did he run? Yeah, I fucking ran home. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, it was fucking true, man. Um, we were talking about, um, uh, it was the first part of the day. Um, they had this little, um, in my, in the school, uh, they had this little, like, area where you could, like, buy, like, pencils and shit like that, right? And I was buying, you know, like, erasers and random shit, right? And then Forrest comes walking by me, he's like, hey, guess what I got? I'm like, what and he says to me basically he has you know bullets i'm like uh dude you need to get those fucking off you know off well not campus but you know out of here he's like no no he basically tried to like blow it off as like you know he had a really bad tantrum with teachers and i basically he didn't have a gun on him but if he had them on what he just really like throwing them at teachers i guess or i think 
I think he was going to threaten a teacher with him. I basically said to him, hey, you need to, like, go home and, like, get rid of it. And, um... He he starts he's like oh, fine I will or some shit like that and he starts walking you know walking out of school I'm like just just fucking run Forrest run home and run, yeah basically boy, yeah, he ran home run Forrest and then I didn't see him I think I think one of the school probation officers found him and I think he got in trouble and went to juvie uh, yeah no, he went to a mental hospital it wouldn't surprise me because uh. That kid had so many fucking takedowns, like, like, daily almost. Like, he wouldn't do his homework, or, or he wouldn't do his schoolwork, and he would tell the teachers off, and they'd say, go to the timeout room, and he wouldn't listen, and when they would try to, like, you know, get him to go there, he would, like, 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 fucking just defy them and, like, slap them and shit, and so they would, like, put him in fucking, you know, defensive holds and shit. Remember this one kid uh, named, like, Dylan, I think it was, and uh, he was this little fat chubby kid, and uh, he he did the exact same thing, and uh, they basically had to call the uh, the police on him because he threatened to run away, and he kind of, like, did. They only ran out to the parking lot, and uh, I remember the we all had to go to the other side of the room and away from the windows, but I remember somehow I sneaked uh, a look out the window, and the, uh, I think the teachers had to go outside of the room. So I uh, snuck a little peek out the window, and the, the the kid's, like, fighting the cop, and the cop houses him on the ground as he's, like, cuffing him. Sweet. This is, in, like, fifth, fourth grade, somewhere in there. Supposedly, they've had d- drug dogs in my school before. Uh, same here. I remember, um, a on few four times. Twenty. Four twenty. <laughs> I remember a few times uh, in, in high school, uh, basically, um, somebody wrote on the, uh, the, the bathroom stall that there was a bomb, and uh, the school took it seriously, and they had the police come in and, like, search all the lockers. <laughs> there was a person that brought a gun to my school, and uh, supposedly also had, like, 20 bags of weed or some shit. That's awesome. I got awesome. 20 bags of weed and a pistola in school. Yeah, what's that? I'm gonna yeah. sell it to the principal of Red School. <laughs> Dude, our principal was badass. Uh, he retired this year. Damn. We <laughs> have we have drug dogs go through three times. I think it's three times a year on average, just like on routine checkups. And we have, like, active, like, fake lockdowns and a whole bunch of crap. Or, I, then again, I go to a high school, so it's pretty normal. The, the, there are two teachers in my school that are always loaded. With weed? No. Guns. Seriously? Yeah. Are they allow them on, like, campus? Those two. Damn. They they are cops, though, technically, and they, they're the criminal justice teachers. <laughs> so basically, they they don't tell you that they actually have them. They just hint it, but you know, we just know they do. Yeah. I sense that there's a gun in this room, and it's from you. I, I should just walk into one of the teachers, in one of the rooms, and do that. I sense a gun in this room. It's I... you. I, I just like I just walked upstairs to go get a bag of chips and ne- both my parents are hammered. I, yeah. That's awesome. They're fucking on the table. Right, I so think my parents just this, came uh, back from a bar actually. So there's this one kid in uh, school that I knew, kind of just briefly. I didn't really know him very well, and he had a uh, hole in his throat, and in the hole was a pipe with a little cap. And I, and I was always wondering what was up with that. Well, evidently he was in some type of crash or something like that. And his his esophagus got, like, torn or ripped or something like that. Anyway, they had to basically put in a pipe to his uh, stomach. And uh, they put it right up to his uh, throat. And um, the only way he eats is, um, is pre-manufactured food. And they had to uh, basically... Mushed uh, up, mushed up, injected. Yeah, uh, yeah injected into his throat. And, um, for the longest time, I was wondering, like, what the fuck is this hole used for, right? He gets fucked in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I found out he worked for, um, some, uh, thrift store somewhere. 
as one of the people that like you know price and put shit on the shelves. So did and you go in with twenty dollars in your pocket? What? Did you go in with twenty dollars in your pocket? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Where were you huh? looking for a dollar? Yeah, anyway, um, it was just interesting because he had this, this pipe in his throat, and I was always wondering, like, what the fuck is up with this? Come to find out, he told he tells me the story, I'm like, damn, that sucks. He can still but speak. He gets all the bitches. What? He can still speak. He gets speak. all the bitches. Yeah, he can still speak. Um, it's just, you know, a little bit uh, quieter than normal, because he can't he really He probably does get all the bitches. Well, like, because there's two different, there's the esophagus that has your vocal cords in it, and then there's the actual throat. The trachea. Like, yeah, the trachea for ingesting food. So they probably just opened up a um, stoma for him to eat through and just kept his esophagus as normal. So he'd be able to talk and breathe normal. That's good. Stomas are gross. <laughs> Not just throat stomas, but other stomas too. I have. Uh, oh, he's not even in here anymore. Never mind. Who are you talking to? Or talking about? Valerie. Said uh, S- uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Shaka. No, oh, that that one person we don't know. Uh, don't what know. else can I tell you story wise of my schooling days? <laughs> Back in the good old days. How did the kids act in your school? Um. They acted interesting. So, Richard, how's your heart doing? Okay, why? I was just wondering. It's okay, I was acting up earlier, but I took pills and pills kicked in and everything's good. That's good. No, I didn't want to do that. No, no. I remember this one room that, uh, that, uh, my, uh, my elementary school had. And it was called the timeout room. And I found out every school has it, pretty much. And uh, the teacher would send you to the office. The office would send you to this room. And long story short, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you went to this room, right? And it was interesting because it was a point in my life where I was like, okay, what is what is a penis type thing, right? So you're kind of playing with it, you know? So... Then I found out from the principal that there's a security camera in that room. Uh Oh. (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, kitty porn. They probably didn't want to watch that. Otherwise, they could have been sued. Then I found out that uh, the security camera never worked for, like, the longest fucking time. Oh, damn. So there's a point where they'd send me to the room, and, yeah. 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 And you'd fondle yourself and be like, I had camera. No, I didn't, I never knew that there was a camera there. It was just, yeah. Oh. You know it was the teddy bear that was in there? That, that's where the camera was? <laughs> there was no <laughs> teddy bear. Oh, God. That's so messed up. I was messed up was when I found, um... Found out uh, that kids do um, age Drugs. Of, Drugs. sexual sexual age of progression in children. It's a book oh, done oh. by um, no, it's a um, it's a uh, not a documentary. It's a uh, study done by uh, not Arizona, Arkansas, sadly enough. And uh, basically, it shows the the different stages of of children and how they they learn about sexual you know. Yeah, in the windows. Not in your windows. Uh, basically, Wait, Richard, Richard. what? Did Forrest li- come from Greenbow, Alabama? No, he came from Oregon. Damn it! I wish. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Where are you from, Greenbow, Alabama? No, Forrest. He was. A, it was a cool kid. Uh, the only problem is, is he had like, mo- or his father. Divorced his mother. His mother was like a drug deal or a drug addict or something like that. A sex um, addict. Th- th- he had a really bad like family, you know, hood and shit. So, yeah. Well then. But they were doing like takedowns on him like every fucking other you know day. 
uh, where they would have to put his or put their hands on him and hold him down or some shit. And fondle him. Uh, actually, <laughs> so there's a story that that is a weird part of my life, but I caught my my teacher uh, basically milking her breasts with a uh, milk bottling machine. Well then, how does one just come across that? <laughs> so uh, every day, every day during lunch, she would uh, she would uh, basically hook up a machine that had little fucking like bottles on it, and it went up to a little sucking machine, and I noticed it, and um, I put two and two together, and uh, came up with uh, she basically uh, she's a cow. She's cow. Yeah, she's a cow, and. Um, I I, uh, I told one of my friends. I think the, my or I told a couple friends. I think one of them told the teacher. And long story short, um, you got a bottle of milk on your desk the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I I, uh, I guess one of them told her, and she asked or started asking me questions. And well, long story short, uh, she asked me. You know, she took me outside one day and asked me what what I knew that she did during, you know, uh, you know, lunchtime. I said, oh, you know, do I, you grade paperwork and you you know have your lunch and shit. And I was acting all like, you know, I didn't know jack I'm shit. Hey. Everyone's still here. Hi, Griff. Hi, Griff. Hi there. Hi. We're having Richard story time. As I do a live stream. And long story short, basically, uh, she's like, okay, well, you know, because she thought that, I was a really good liar back then, um, so she thought I was genuinely, you know, thinking she, you know, did paperwork and shit, and, you know, and, you know, that she never has time to, you know, go to the staff, you know. And milk her, uh, milk, her. milk herself. Yeah, basically, she just milked herself and, you know, <laughs> shit. So you just cut off on that idea. Yeah, she, she fucking, like... Milked herself. It was fucking weird. Did she have a farmer? Yeah, herself. I want. I wonder if she had a baby at home. She did. That's probably why she had to milk herself at school. Yeah. Otherwise, her tits get hard and hurt. And... Well, also because she she had milk at home for the baby during the day that her husband could give to bed. Then I remember when uh, when uh, Halloween came out right after school started, and, and she had a few bottles of milk. Bottles of milk. I want to try some human milk. milk. Hold on a second. I I learned, uh, I learned, yeah. Not pregnant. Pregnant. First month of school, which is September, I learned about it, and then in uh, October, Halloween happened, and I got one of these voice changers that would, like, change your voice. (laughs) I call her up at home, because I found her phone number by then. I call her up at home, and it's, like, 12 o'clock, and I can't remember exactly what I said, but I, I, I said something to do with, um... You're milking yourself, aren't you? And I said it in like the weird like robot voice or some shit. And, oh, uh, no. Yeah, she she didn't do it ever since then at school. <laughs> That's hot. A robot voice telling robot. you to mic to milk yourself. That's kind of hot. <laughs> oh my! Set L. Uh, then, then there was a, a time where I found out where she lived, and uh, she would bring, like, magazines in, and you would, like, have to cut them out, do collages and shit, and uh, she didn't, uh, you know, she didn't uh, hide her address, and I found her address, and I brought it to her attention, you know, because she should, you know, like them out and shit, and she got really offended and pissed at me. Even though you were trying to help her? Yeah. Maybe she wanted students to come to her house and rape her. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh Timmy. I also got her. Okay, so there's a second part of the story. I actually got her to divorce her, her husband to divorce her. How? Yeah, it's, it's a long, long story. It's really. Oh, so we have time. time. All right, so she's actually related to me. She's like my quad, like fucking cousin or some shit, like way up in the family. But only by marriage. And because of that, because she was kind of related to me by, like, a far fucking cousin type shit, she thought she could treat me as if, you know, we were family, and she thought she could treat me as if, you know, I need to get my work done and shit like this. And she treated me basically different than normal kids. 
And she if I normal. Me if I normal. Like, okay, for instance, um, you know the little, like, runs that they have at the school where not, not like you have to go take a shit, but, like, you go run around track and you raise money because, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay, well, I did that, and I got Wait, a lot of money. Wait, ran? ran? Shut up. Anyway, I got, I got some money, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I got this money, and some of it's in quarters, some of it's in coins and shit. Well, we didn't want me to have, you know, a whole bunch of quarters and dimes and shit just sitting around, so we, 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 we basically deposited a bank account and pulled it out in, in like, you know, stacks of quarters and shit like that. And um, so basically um, I brought it to school. Well, I come to school with, with, a <coughs> with a stack of fucking coins, right, that are pre-rolled up. <coughs> and she starts just, just bitching at me like, where the fuck do you get these coins, you know, rolled up? Did you, like, steal them? Did you what, you know? Which I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong, you cunt? So she throws me in... She throws me into the, uh, the little, like, you know, uh, room that's, like, segregated that can be locked. And she puts me in there. And basically, you know, is treating me, like, really, really shittily. Well... She's trying to figure out if I stole them, which is like, you know, what fucking, you know, fifth grader is going to go steal coins or quarters from, you know, in rolls, right? And so she's asking questions that are just insanely, you know, you don't ask as a teacher type questions. And uh, she wouldn't let me have, you know, the, the trinkets or whatever it was that I basically earned for doing this shit. And uh, at that point, uh, the way I thought, you know, the way I treated her after that point completely changed when she started treating me like shit due to the fact that, you know, she thought she could treat me differently because we were kind of related. So basically, I started treating her the way she was treating me. And um, basically, there was a meeting that happened between her my mom, which was doing bad at the time, she had epilepsy, and my grandparents, which was, you know, taking her to and from a place that she needed to go to, like this meeting. And because my grandparents were more and more related than I was and my mom, because, you know, it goes up, when they found out that what she was doing for my mom and me, they, they were talking to her at the meeting, trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with her. And they pulled me out of school after that meeting, roughly. And the interesting part about that is once the Roshak family found out what happened, it trickled upwards just a little bit to that side of the family that, you know, her side starts, you know, generation, or the generation starts from. <clears throat> and it gets to him, his, or hers, or her husband, which she's married to. When he finds out what section of the Roshacks I was part of and finds out how she was treating me, he divorced her, and from what we can tell, she doesn't have the baby in custody anymore. So I've, I've successfully gotten my nice. teacher divorced and her child removed from her custody. Nice. Damn, son. Uh, all because she was treating me like shit. She kept me in a room for, oh, 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 let me tell you one other thing. So, um, yeah, I was a little bit chubby back then, kind of, and my brother basically said to me, you know, you know, you know, when, when you go to lunch, don't eat and then just go out to have, you know, recess, you know, you can go, you know, early and have, you know, funner games, right? Instead of having to, like, eat, which takes up a lot of time, you know, and whatnot, and just eat when you come home, right? Because it's just, you know, two hours later, right? <laughs> so I don't eat, and which I was fine with because I wasn't hungry or anything. She gets pissed at me. And this is where, like, the family type shit that, you know, because she thinks, you know, she's family, right? <laughs> she takes me to a room in the main office. She won't let me leave to go back to class until I have something to eat. She only puts in front of me applesauce, apple juice, and I think it was, like, um, potato salad. 
and I had to eat them all or I can't go back to class. Because, by golly, it's their job to make sure I get fed, right? <laughs> I tell her, no, I don't want it. I tell her, I, I don't want to eat it, that I can't eat it, you know, blah, blah, blah. She didn't want anything to do with that. So, because, you know, I'm being held there without, you know, much, you know, say in it, I go ahead Prisoner. and fucking Prisoner. eat it. And uh, so I go back to class, which you know, I wanted to do. I'm allergic to apple sauces, certain types of uh, apples and whatnot, uh, from concentrated. And when I when I when I eat them or drink them or whatever the case may be, um, it will put me into a, uh, a bacterial infection when I you know urinate. So I'll have a UTI. And is it severe? Is it severe? Oh, it's severe. It burns like a fucking cunt. Um, when I was born, I had a uh, urethra problem. I couldn't urinate, so they had to go in. And ever since then, um, certain things uh, cause infections down there that are, you know, basically things that I eat. Like, for instance, like uh, orange juice, apple juice, and, and certain – it has to be certain types, like uh, whether it be canned and whatnot. It's the, basically the processing types and preservatives. Uh, but long story short, they, uh, they cause me to have really, really, really bad infections. Um, because my body's, you know, it doesn't like it. Um, so I had a really bad infection for like two weeks, and I had to go to the doctor, piss in a bo- you know, piss in a cup, uh, be on antibiotics, and long story short. And at that single point, which was, you know, weeks later after that meeting, um, when I told my mom what happened, that's the exact moment that they they took me out of that uh, that school. And uh, as far as I know, I think they also. Uh, Fired uh, her? Fired her? What? Fired her? User yeah. Her channel. channel. As far as I know, I, think, I believe that they fired her at that point, too. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, she basically uh, kept me with, or kept me with, or... Sounds like she me, kept you as prisoner. Basically, yeah. Um, so that happened. Um, then I was homeschooled for a while. Then they took me to, what was it, uh, regular school. Uh, so if I go back to the very beginning of school, it was, you know, regular schooling, all that fun stuff. Well, then I was considered gifted, talented, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Uh, I have a very high IQ. It's like, uh, back then it was like 160, but when I later, later score, got scored, it was around 150-ish. So it's between 150 and 160. It's a, it's a really high IQ. <laughs> and... Um, Long story short, um, because of my high IQ, I was supposed to be in diff- a different type of schooling environment. Because I'm not a, I'm not a, vi- or I'm not an audio or auditorial learner. I'm a visual learner, and User doing things down. over and over and over again actually does a reverse effect for me. It basically um, gets me annoyed by it to the point where I don't want to learn it. So you learn, you teach me it once, and then I'll show my work, but don't fucking keep that repetitive bullshit up. And basically, they they they're going to move me out of you know regular schooling to something more one on one with a teacher. Um, and basically, what they did is they uh, they put me in a behavioral intervention program because there's more teachers in the environment, which was good. But what was also bad about it is we're having, you know, we're having, um, you know, teachers that are not really one-on-one, except one-on-one with students that are being bad, and they're basically putting their bodies on the student, um, you know, because they're tantrums and shit like that, <laughs> right? So that's where that one uh, bitch came into play with that, that learning environment, and I was there for like two, one and a half years roughly. And then they pulled me out for fifth grade. So that happened. And then I got pulled out, went to homeschool for a while until fifth grade was up. So I'd go to, you know, uh, for, uh, you know um, <coughs> middle school. And when I went to middle school, because I was previously in behavioral intervention, I had to go to a different behavioral intervention. And once I went there, everything was fine. Everything was good. You know, I had straight A's pretty much. You know, everything was good. I didn't have any problems, right? Because it wasn't the same teacher. So everything was good. They put me right back into regular school. Well, once I got back into regular school, 
immediately I had like F's because I had to catch up and it took me a while to catch up. But once I started catching up, everything was fine. Well, the school for behavior intervention was on the other side of the city and I'm supposed to go to the, the school closest to me. So what they did is they, they took me to behavior intervention. I did good in, everything was fine. They put me in regular school. I failed for a little bit and then I got caught up and everything was fine. I had straight A's again. And then all of a sudden they say, hey, you're not supposed to be at this school. You're supposed to be at this school. And I didn't want to do it. I said no, but they forced me to do it anyways. So right in the middle of the year, they transfer schools. And at that point, I start failing again. And this time I can't catch up because the course between the schools are completely different, kind of. And so here I, I was doing fine, and now I have straight Fs. Well, fuck. I mean, it's the middle of the school year. Okay, so that happens. Well, this is where it gets really fucked up. And this is why I hate this. Send you back? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The second day of, of middle school, I'm in PE, right? I'm in PE, I'm in boys' locker room, it's about to, bell's about to ring, and all of a sudden the fire alarm goes off. And I'm like, well, fuck! And so I'm like, okay, do I go out this door? Because I'm new, never had a fire alarm drill before. Do I go out this door, or do I go through the gym, and do I, like, what the fuck do I do? And the crowd, the crowd. basically, everybody kept on telling me, no, I need to go through the gym, which I was like, this is stupid, I should just go out this fucking door right here. Well... <coughs> So I follow everybody else. I go out there. Well, I kind of knew the, the assistant principal because uh, he was a friend of the, you know my mom and my brother because my brother went to the school. And I went up to him. I said, hey, what's going on? Is this like a, a, a drill or something? And it's kind of weird at this time of you know, day because you know, I'm really smart. You know, I can do very, 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 you know, very, very complex, you know, rationalizations, right? And I come to the conclusion that, hey, this shouldn't happen at this time and all this fun, you know, fun shit. And he tells me that, uh, and I ask, do you know who it is, basically? And he says to me, yeah, we, we've narrowed it down to about 25 boys. Well, basic ra rationalization says, okay, 25 boys, that can be 25 boys in any other classes, maybe sex ed, but that's not going on right now, so it has to be 25 boys in a boys' locker room. Hey, I was in the boys' locker room. This is kind of weird. What the fuck is going on? Wait a minute. And I said, huh, I was in the boys' locker room. I was kind of one of the one, or last ones to leave because I had the commotion of, should I go out this door, should I go out this door, this door, this door, what, you, what the fuck did I do? And I, I said to him, I could probably tell you guys, or tell you who was some of the last people you know, by the fire alarms. This happened on a Friday. Monday morning, I come to school, everything's good. Go to the lunch, or to the cafeteria for breakfast fucking main principal, which is a complete fucking douche, fucking, just, I hate the fucking guy, he's now fired, um, he basically, uh, grabs me by the back of my, my shirt, takes oh, me to the wow. office, They're not takes supposed me to do the that. office, that. takes me to the office, sits me in this little room with a, with a table, and says, sit here, and he was, you know, he fucking left. I'm like, well, what the, what the fuck, you know, what's going on? So I asked the office lady, what, what's going on? And he said, or she says to me, you need to wait for Mr. England. And I'm like, okay. And so he pulled me into his office, and he basically starts interrogating me why I pulled the fire alarm. And I said, I didn't pull the fire alarm. You know, did somebody behind me or in front of me? I don't know, but I can tell you kind of who was, you know, behind me. And he kept on fucking insisting that I pulled the fire alarm. Oh, uh, don't you like that? Don't you like that? It got to the point where he started to get me to cry because he started threatening me that, you know, the police were going to get involved and I'm going to have a felony and, you know, uh, you know, the fire marshal and this, that, and the other. Well, he basically says, okay, we're going to go back to the scene of the crime. He takes me back to the scene of crime. I'm like, okay, you know, I didn't know if I should go out this door or this door, and, you know, uh, there's a fire alarm there, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I, I, I didn't pull a fire alarm. It must have been somebody else. I don't know why I'm talking, like, to the Raffi Griffin. This is really weird. Or, no, to, uh, what's his name? Uh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, him. Nevertheless, um, <clears throat> so after that point, um, 
he's still not believing me, so he tries, or tries a different threat and, uh, threatening tactic. And that of is course, basically... Of course, it's called right. fear-mongering. It's called fear-mongering. Yep. Yeah. So basically, it takes me to a, uh, a different room, and then this room is a bunch of servers with uh, security cameras on it, and I can see all the different security cameras. And at that moment, and this is after the crying and all that shit, at that moment, I look him straight in the eye and says, you don't got jack on me. And he got pissed then, because he, he, he knew at that moment that I knew more than he did. So he takes me back to, his, or to the conference room, and um, he, he sets me down with a book. And um, I said, I can, I can look through this and see if I can find, you know, you know, who did it. But, you know, um, you know, yeah. Well, long story short, I was looking through the book, not even caring at that point, because I knew at that moment that no matter what he showed me on the security cameras, there cannot be legally or any type of legality, there cannot be any type of security cameras in a boy's locker room. And I told him that. And at that moment, he realized that, hey, no matter what you show me, I'm not going to believe whatever you show me. Number two, bring the fucking cops in at this point because right now you're you're basically holding me against my will. Number three, um, yeah, go fuck yourself. Well, long story right. short, this is like – You know what? The whole purpose of that is just to just get to... you to say that you did it. Oh, but at that moment, I realized what he was doing, and I came to my senses of he's basically trying to 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 get me to say you know that I did it to uh, you know uh, use scare tactics, and at that moment I, I realized that I could turn it around against him, and once I did that, um, he basically like stopped fucking trying to scare me, uh, which was great on my end because you know I was crying, fucking shit was going down. And then once he basically showed the cameras trying to, you know, scare me even more, I realized what he was doing and counteracted it with threatening with a lawsuit. And once I did that, he basically changed his whole entire pace with me and uh, took me to a room and basically, you know, had me look through the books and uh, photos of the students. Well, long story short, um, like an hour and a half later, and this is like four and a half hours in, one of the kid's friends that uh, was with the kid that did it told on him to the principal, I was released to go back to class, and I never got an apology, never got anything for the amount of torture that I went through because, you know, they wanted me to confess to something I did not do. Welcome oh, to America. Thanks. Now I speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, you need to yeah, speak he... Spanish after that. Oh, Dude, by the way, I think I'm sober dead. now. I think I'm sober. Some my alcohol. Uh, yeah, I have some left. I have alcohol. Hey, continue, Richard. Bye, boy, no, bye, no. So I'm not finished yet. <laughs> okay, guys, he's not finished. This is actually entertaining. Continue. continue. So, my parents pulled me out of that class or that school because shit's happening there that is just pure bullshit. And after a couple, like a year or two into it. Shit happened, and it was just bullshit. So... Who did you kill? Who did you kill? America. America. <laughs> so they pulled me out of it because that, that school is basically treating me as if, you know, I'm a troubled child, which I'm not. And, well, I don't think I am. Um, so they pulled me out, and they... Or no, no. The school wanted me to go to a different school. And that school was called uh, 6th Street. And it was done by a group home school. Um, where you have like a whole bunch of kids that no one wants them, so they you know go to this, you know, they're troubled or whatever, they go to the school. <sighs> the school did not follow any type of um, educational, you know, guidelines. They had none. Literally, when I'd go to that school, and I had to convince my parents of this, which I eventually did. Um, when you go to the school, they would have you do, like, this really shitty, like, crossword puzzles type shit for learning. And then the rest of the time you're supposed to read. Well, fucking, they didn't have any books. The only books they had there was the phone book. So I'm reading the phone book. <laughs> and then I, I fucking, like, like my mom came in one day, and I was literally reading the fucking phone book, and she got royally pissed. She took me out of that school after that. 
You're, but you should have read but, but, Mom, I've read every other book they have. This is after, um, so, right, this is a couple days after, uh, they, they tried, okay. They had some rules at the school that you couldn't talk to other students with a staff, without a staff member present, because, you know, you might try, you know, to escape or some shit, right? Prison. Sure. prison. This is prison or now. escape attempt. Yeah. Oh, it was total fucking prison. It still is there. Um, so, you couldn't talk to another student without, um, without a staff member present. If you did, the other student that would probably get in trouble, and so would you, they didn't want to get in trouble, so they would, they would, they would pull that bitch maneuver, like, you know, not on, put your, either, no, they in your face. Me first. Yeah, well, here's the funny part. They would put your, uh, they would put their hand in your face, and they would say, no staff, real loud, so the staff member would hear it, and you'd get in trouble. This is the bullshitest bullshit ever. But anyway, one of the things that they made you do is they made you look uh, at the wall, and you're in, like, a cubicle environment, and you couldn't see who's behind you. <coughs> well, the teacher sat right behind me, pretty much. So when he looked forward, he was looking right at me. Well, I didn't like the fucking feeling that somebody could watch me at any moment in time. So instead of sitting normally in the chair, I sat sideways in the chair. And I was doing my work and, you know, whatever work that there was. And long story short, they got upset with that. And they put little, like, you know, barricades and shit. And long story short, they they eventually threatened, threatened me that they were going to put me in the, the room, which is walkable. It is the same thing as a... Padded room? Padded room. A padded room, exactly. It had carpet yeah, yeah, walls. Yeah, yeah, had carpeted walls you could hit. You, you know, know what? what? You if, get... they, if they sent me there, I'd probably cut the fool and just act like I was completely fucking mad. And just be all this screaming and voices and shit just to get their reaction. I'd just down and fall asleep. So this is where it gets interesting. So they take all the kids out of my, the room I'm in, put it in the other you know classroom. They they lock the doors. They get two. Uh, people from the other part of the group home over there, they're like the big fucking like muscle guys. And if I didn't look for and do my quote unquote work, they were going to lock me in that room. Um, so I couldn't, you know, look around in the room basically, you know, at whatever while I was doing my work. And at that moment when they were threatening me to put, lock me away in this room, which, <laughs> I, I have, um, you know, I have, you know, um, anxiety, um, anxiety. I have, uh, what do you call it, um, claustrophobia, claustrophobia? not claustrophobia, I have, um, what do you nope. call it, um, nope. not ADHD, um, autism, and, um, what's the other one thing? Anxiety, anxiety, no, um, autism, and the other ADHD. one, ADHD. No, Asperger's, Asperger's, and on top of that, um, a few You've other got things, that, that, I basically, I, Uniquely to me, I overthink things and all that fun stuff, and it's really cool. But the, I have an interesting part about me, uh, learning-wise. And so I had a IEP, which is an individual education. Program. I have one. I have one. I have one. <laughs> Here's the interesting part about it. So I have an IEP. I'm considered, um, quote unquote, um, LD. LD. at that point, uh, at that point in time, I was considered, um, not disabled, but the, the, the learning, um, the learning, the learning mode of, you know, um, special educated. LD. LD. Retarded. No. I was it's considered LD. under special education. Which is basically means that they, that the state or government gives you more money because the kid requires a different type of learning environment, which was exactly the case because I learned differently, and, but I have a high IQ and shit. So because of the, the special education, I'm under different sanctions when it comes to the way I'm this supposed to be treated. And this is where they fucked up. If they were to put me in that room, which is way smaller than 10 by 10 or 9 by 9 or 6 by 6 foot. It, well, actually, it was, okay. it was about 5 foot by 5 foot room. If they would have placed me in that room, they would have violated many, many fucking laws, federal laws when it comes to special education. 
You're not supposed to lock um, special education kids in rooms. You're not supposed to, um, you know, do a whole bunch of random shit. They're supposed to have a certain amount of room. So, if they put me in that room, shit would have happened. But they threatened to put me in that room to try to get me to look forward and, you know, not look at the room, which I felt threatened in that room most of the time. <laughs> so after that happened, um, my mom came to the school at some random time and found out that it was true that I was reading the phone book, and she pulled me right out of the class right then and there. Then I went to homeschool until uh, they then took me to, quote-unquote, the worst school for, like, you know, behavioral issue children. When I went to that school, which is in a different, like, part of the county, and it took a long time to get there every morning, um, and I had different school, like, like for instance, normal school started at, like, 7, or like, 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'd get up and all that shit, and it ended at, like, 2.30. This school, it was kind of cool because it started at 9 o'clock and ended at, like, fucking, like, 1.30, so it was kind of cool. Holy but shit. anyway, shit. I wanted to go to that school. Was, cool thing was, is, uh, it was the same thing as behavior intervention schools, uh, which the first one I did shitty in because of the teacher that was a bitch. The second one I did perfect in because I didn't know any of the teachers. While I was at the one that did this, which was called Crossroads, um, I did perfect in. I was fucking reading, I had straight A's, everything was good, well, A's and B's, but um, I was doing fucking good. This is where the story turns. So I was there for like two years or one and a half years, whatever it was. A long time. A long time. So... I then become a high schooler, and from middle school to high school, <clears throat> I go back to my normal high school that I was supposed to go to, because I'm fine, you know, I don't have any behavioral issues. They get a mix-up in paperwork, and so first day of school, I had no, 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 no classes. Second day of school, I had no classes. Third day of school, I had no classes. Fourth day of school... Principal gets pissed, gets me into the counselor's office, and they figure out what classes I need. Well, most of the classes were booked up, shit was happening, icky shit was happening. They put me all in elective classes. Nice. <laughs> they said basically later on we'll pull Easy you out. A. Easy A. Yeah. So they put me all in elective classes. I was doing good, everything was fine, I was happy because I was going from like I had like uh, math, which was like seventh period and then, so it was like first period, I was in like robotics, second period, I was in bowling, th uh, third period, I had like PE, fourth period, I had this. It was fucking awesome. I was just fucking America, bitch. I love this schooling. And then the second year, or no, at the very fixed end that, of that year, that. to the second year, um, I started having epileptic seizures and whatnot, because I had my first seizure. <laughs> this is where it starts getting interesting. Then I start getting into the point of, hey, you didn't take, you know, freshman this and freshman that, and you're supposed to take that when you're a freshman. I'm like, oh, that's no problem. I'll take them to the end now. The down. other coursework and shit, because, well, you can't fuck me over then. <sighs> nope, you can't do that. You must take this uh, online, you know, um, makeup course called Odyssey Wear. Of course. Of course. You know what Odyssey Wear is, don't you? What? I'm talking about uh, status. What is status? I don't know what it is, though. What was, it? what was it? Odyssey Wear. Oh, uh, I think I have an idea, but you can continue to explain it in case I'm wrong. Odyssey Wear is basically um, saw this online course that basically allows you to take... Um, um, it's like online schooling, but it's called Odyssey Wear. It's a, it's a brand name. Anyway, the coursework for English, now, let me remind you, I have Asperger's, autism, and a few other things, right? That basically means that I'm socially, I don't get social cues very well at all, if any. So, exactly. I'm supposed to be learning English. English! Online! With no teacher help, really, at all. So I'm trying to learn this, and I'm not getting, you know, the meaning or the punctuation. I mean, I suck at fucking, like, writing and shit because, you know, um, during all these different fucking schools I've gone through, they basically uh, Tell you nothing. did nothing. a lot of bullshit, basically, for, for English stuff. So English spelling is pretty much a hit or miss for me. 
So, and because I'm a visual learner, the only way I can spell is if I can memorize the characters and shit. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> this gets interesting. So, I'm trying to learn English. I'm feeling that because, you know, they're putting me in Odyssey where eventually I get to the point where no matter what, and I, and the school basically said, oh, you can still graduate, but I, I come to a point in my life where I figure out, I, 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 I basically come up with the, the, the equation in my head that no matter what I do at my current school, I will not graduate. While they're still trying to say, yeah, you'll graduate, because all this time they're racking in a shit ton of money due to the fact that I'm a special education, I have an IEP, I have this, all this fun stuff. I never had that problem in my school. Oh, yeah, I've tried changing, like, courses and shit, and they wouldn't let me do it because, you know, uh, know, I had to go through an IEP meeting or this or that or whatever the case may have been. Yeah, but there's, like, only one thing I had a problem with, and that's trying to learn another language because no matter what I got, I never got the language classes that I wanted. Always got, like, some bullshit, like, English and math. Even after, even after. Okay, okay. Um, basically, I come to the point where I realize that, hey, no matter what I do, I'm not going to graduate from this high school. And I basically pulled myself out. And I was at a, I was at a moment where I couldn't do it myself, so I had, to, I had to coerce my parents to say, hey, currently at this high school, I would not graduate, blah, 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 fuck them. And I remember the IEP meeting I was in. I had the principal, I had this other principal of this other school that they wanted me to move to, and this is the key reason, is I was in the room with them, with everybody that had to do with, like, you know, the special education of the, of the school district, um, and they basically wanted me to go from high school to this alternative high school, and at that single moment, I start cussing them fucking out. And I'm cussing out the principal, I'm cussing out them. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. You guys had me go to, let me count this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what are we up to? Ten. And you want me to go to 11 fucking schools within, I don't know, 12 grades? You fuckheads! And basically, I, I'm cussing them fucking out and just ripping them a new fucking ass. And I get so fucking pissed. And and at one point, the principal that, and here's the funny part, this is the best part about this whole fucking story. The school that they wanted me to go to, the person that was in charge of it was the assistant principal that did jack shit, never said he was sorry, when they put me in that fucking room, made me cry, showed me the security cameras, he was the assistant principal of that fucking school. So, at that moment, I'm fucking bloody pissed. I'm, I'm cussing them out. I eventually said, fuck it, I'm done, I'm removing myself from your fucking environment. And I walked out. And basically, my parent, my mom and my brother stayed in there. They were talking for a while. And then all of a sudden I saw the school psychologist walk out, and she, she saw me. And I didn't fucking you know, listen to her, and she says, I'm sorry for blah, 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 you know. I hope this will be better for you. And then the principal that, that fucked me over comes out, and he says the same fucking thing. And a couple other people walk out, go to their car. And I'm just looking at their car, and I'm just going, and I tilt my head. Acting like I could fucking destroy their fucking vehicle, and they're kind of like, you know, worried at that point. And basically, long story short... Everybody fucking leaves. My parent and my brother comes out, and they basically say, yeah, this is bullshit. They're like, yeah, you should go to this other school. I'm like, just fuck this shit. I'm out of this. Fuck this. I'll go get, just go get my GED and go fuck them. Long story short, I haven't got, I have not got my GED yet, which I'm actually working on towards getting. I'm, so in other words, you got fucked got over by the system. I got fucked over by the system. I'm fucking pissed about it. And you know what? Where's my fucking ma- uh, axe? Because I'm going to hit something right now. Give me a second. I just get to the m- mall. What are you eating? He's getting his axe. He's getting his axe. All right, got my fucking axe. Hit this bitch. Die, you fucking homos. Right. <coughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Paradox. Paradox. We just had a story time with Richard. 
Yeah, there should be like a moment where he gets to call into the show and just have story time music for him. So yeah, that's the reason why I have not graduated high school. And how old are you again? I'm 20. Okay. You know, at this point, you should just get homeschooled and graduate from home. Um, actually, fuck that. All I have to do is just go take the test down at the, uh, what is it called, the college? Why is No, that's college. And basically just get my GED and say, fuck it. But the only thing is it costs like a hundred and some dollars, which I could easily, you know, come up with. But it's just me just going down there and doing it, which, the one of the things I need to do, but, eh. Yeah, well, you should probably do. If I rec, I think if they have offer online testing like that, you should just do that. They don't. Sad enough, you have to actually come in. So it's like, it's not hard to do. It's just I need to just do it. Oh, so yeah, you're procrastinating. Also, but yeah, basically, the school district I was part of, due to the fact that I was considered special education because I learn differently, they. They mixed up why I was going to a different type of schooling environment, and they considered me a troubled child instead of a gifted child, and at that moment, they fucked me over. And I found out because when freshman year of high school happened, they basically tried to uh, split the a big school of, like, you know, 1,000-some children into five, uh, you know, sub-schools. And they got a big grant from Intel, or no, from Microsoft to do it. I think Intel, too. Microsoft. They, Microsoft. Yeah, it was Microsoft. And uh, basically when they did that, they, they, they split everybody into those schools. And that's where the issue with, with putting kids into, you know, all elective classes. And I found out through Facebook and a few other friends that a lot of my 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 freshman class or graduating class did not graduate because of those issues. So it's it's quite sad to see that hey that school that school year a lot of my friends did not graduate due to the fact of my high school fucking everybody over. So anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty. Okay Paradox you can tell us your story. Uh, no Paradox show me your tell story. I'll be back. Eh, I'm just, um, well, I don't know, I'm half really fucking happy for the studio and half upset right now, because the control panel that, um, me and Richard built works, like, flawlessly, but now, because of that, the audio, um, processing is, like, fucking up, and so I need to figure that out, and it's upsetting me. Oh, but I'll have it all figured out. I'll I'll play around with it tomorrow, and I'll probably determine some things. I really need to get another mixing computer. I think I'm just gonna build a PC and use Cubase or something. That reminds me. I I mean I fixed the problem now, but Paradox. What is a what would you recommend as a good mixer for in case I just want to use the sounds that come off my speakers instead of just talking through a mic? Um. Well, some sound cards have a stereo mix option, which, like, you can use that as an input device. So basically, the input device is what plays out of the speakers. So, um... Yeah, I tried that, and it doesn't work. I don't know, I'd have to play with it. Oh. Paired up. Anyway. I might be working at Radio Shack. So, um, that one furry that we had guesting on tonight, um, he's training to be a police officer. I think he likes me. Oh. You mean Tank? Yeah. He was a cool guy. I got a picture of him. I missed the show. (laughs) Tank is a pretty cool guy. He he seems really... He's really sweet. He's one of those, like, anything goes people. He's one of those people that just accepts... Actually, no, he's kind of skinny like me. He should definitely, you know, be team speak. As this was the furry that was, like, you came in and you just found out he was local and he listens to you or just someone else entirely different I'm thinking of who? because I remember there was this one time you said that there was this furry that 
gave you the laptop to fix, and you found out that he listens to Lapfox, and he also listens to Furcast. Oh, that was a random um, person who brought the computer into repair at the shop. Yeah, it didn't really turn into anything. Ah. That's well, cool. uh, he was a furry, but the kid's kind of an asshole, and I just don't want to talk to him. Oh. What's I looked like? him up online. He's one of those annoying, like, otaku people. Ah. Uh. He doesn't say anything useful, and he... Is like really mean to everybody on his Tumblr, and I was just like, you know what? This purse is not even worth my time. Otaku people, what? Um, weeboos. The term oh, is okay. weeboos. Okay, that makes more sense to me now. An otaku is a person who is an extremely high level fan of anime, but also appears to be a douchebag about it. They pretend that they're from anime worlds or yeah. Japan. I understood Weeboo as what it what it was meant to be. I don't have any problem with it, I just don't want to be friends with them. Well, Weeboo is meant as a insult, and Otaku is actually... It's not an insult, it's a person. But if he's a douchebag, Weeboo hit that shit. Yeah, then it would be a Weeboo. And they're a little bit different. I, I don't care. I think a Weeboo actually pretends that they know everything about Japanese language, even though they can only... Yeah. Say death and kawaii. I remember because uh, Dead Mouse pissed off a bunch of people once because uh, Dead Mouse went on his Twitter uh, one day and said, "I wish I had real fans of my music, not fucking furries and weeaboos." And he pissed <laughs> so many people off, and I was like, "Dude, you're fucking awesome." Furries and weeaboos. Pissed him off on purpose or just because he didn't mean to? Probably on purpose. I love how he decked out his car with Aperture Laboratories logos. What? Uh, he drive like he has like like four or five different cars, but one of them is covered in Aperture Laboratories logos. What is it? Uh, it's one of his Bentleys. I don't know. Damn. Uh, you could probably Google it. Wow. I'm too lazy. I'm surprised there's no more people viewing my, um, what was it, my stream. Well, you usually only get people whenever they, like, whenever you link them to it, or if, I like, they a see lot it when you post it. I linked, like, a lot of people like it in my FA. I only got, like, one, and that's DJ GLaDOS. Me. Did, yeah. Did you post a picture saying you were streaming? Yeah, I did. Post it again. Uh, I don't want to do that, because I'm pretty sure that's against F.A.'s policy or some shit like that. As long as you have to scrap the stream image. Or submit it in a journal. Uh, no, I, I, can always, I, I can always do this, too. And that helps. Not me. Well, it's a freaking link to the picture of the stuff and the things. I got like a watch. Yeah. Is it where to general? No, it's not where to general. It should be where to general though. I'm not really doing anything adult. Why the fuck See, is it? If it's not where to G, I can't even look at it. Remember? Okay, it's hold up. It's a journal. It's a journal post, isn't it? No, it's a. I'm gonna update it. It's general. It's really fucking general. Okay, I, I'm updating it now. It is general. But our talk but our isn't. Talk. I, I was testing this because, yeah, it was like my first time getting like a live stream working, and so far I think it's uh, going pretty I know. good. I, I helped you make it. It yeah. crashed. It crashed. That can't be right. Oh, if I have to do this. I'm playing Happy Wars and I just got my shit pushed in. There. There. 
I just need I to just fix, need to the, fix, fix the RAM and stuff. There. There. That should do it. Oh, by the way, how is it? Check with me. What now? Hot. Whoever joined the stream, how is it? Everyone's being quiet. It's okay. It's pretty good. Sorry, doing admin stuff on my Minecraft server. Oh, that's okay. Oh, well, that's okay. I just want to know I just how wanna... the quality was. Well, the quality was bad. Oh, streaming, oh, perfectly. streaming perfectly. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, it's... that one guy, you're echoing. There's one reverb, like, there's somebody committing to reverb in the chat. Huh? That what? Raver? There's somebody that was doing that was created. Selected. Oh. oh. Yeah, sorry for that. I said, uh, it's stereo mix selectors and I'm like, reverb is echo. Oh, by the way, I guess I'm doing ref sheets now, because this is a reference sheet to my character. Oh, okay. Which I'm slightly proud of, because it isn't uh, the shitty one-view reference sheet I usually make. This is like advanced reference sheet making 101. I'm being a really bad cleric. A cleric? What's that? Um, kind of like a spellcaster. They're the healer of the group. Oh. We should make a map for you, T. So, Paradox, how are you maps been? I'm for Counter-Strike. I'm done making maps. Oh. So, Paradox, how are you? Eh. And how was Denny's? Well, we weren't there for very long. It was okay. It was pretty good. I really wish Rick, I could go and eat dinner with you guys. It sounds like it'd be pretty awesome. But I am nowhere near where your guys are at. I'm in Michigan yeah. and you are in New York, I think. It's not too far if you think about it. Paradox, I'm going to show up on your doorstep one day. It's kind of creepy, but okay. It's my goal in life. <laughs> How far are you? I'm about maybe 26 hours away. From Paradox or me? From Paradox. Like driving. I'm about 6 to 8. I get Not, 8. I, that, that's, that's obviously removing time. Like I, There's also like getting across the border, sleeping, eating. Okay, how far are you from Michigan? I don't really even know where that is. So far away. It's the Mitten. You know the continent that, or the one landmass that looks like a mitten? That's Michigan. Oh, yeah, I have no idea how far away that is. Is it continent? No, I correct myself. Landmass. I remember I did like the reason I know how far away Paradox is, like where, like how far away he is from me, is because I checked it on Google Maps to see roughly how far away he was. Oh, why don't you check on Google Maps to see how far away I am? So I'm playing Happy Wars and getting my crap pushed in. I'm 33 hours Play away. Play Happy Wheels and go kaboom. You're 33 hours away from who? Paradox. <laughs> oh, wow. 2,200 miles. That's a lot of miles there. Probably like 16 or 17. Yeah, there is one. Hmm, people should commission me more, and maybe I could do something. I'll pay you five dollars to draw a mountain. A mountain? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I don't have five dollars. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the economy. A lot of people don't have five dollars.
So, who has heard of SCP? I have. Project to the game. The game. Yes. Oh, wait, which game? Contain Breach. Oh, okay. Because there's like four or five. I think I am obsessed with the SCP-079 and I even fucking memorized the number. That's wonderful. You know, out of all the SCPs, I think uh, SCP-079 is like my spirit guide or something. <laughs> Which one is that exactly? The computer. The AI, oh. that's Synthian. It's pr that is my uh, spirit guide. A talking Synthian computer. What would be your SCP spirit guide? Obviously 87. 87? The never ending staircase. <laughs> never ending staircase. Isn't that what life is? <laughs> yep. Actually, there is an end, it's just you die. And if you play SCP-87-B, the only real option is moving until you die, so... Oh, wow. Well, there is an ending, because the game eventually runs out of bits, and you just kind of... And then it says the end, and then that's it. But it takes forever to get there. So that's the staircase to avoid. Uh, never-ending staircase that eventually leads to either your death or you winning? Yes. Hey, you guys want to know something? My mom bought nipple clamps. I'll be right back. What? That was random. Random RCP is random. <laughs> do, you, do you mean a real one? After knowing you did for clips? five years, that was not random at all. Normal RCP is wrong. <laughs> So mine would be 860-1. Probably. What, 8? Is that the toilet? What was no. 860-1 is the um, random forest. The forest? Yeah, it's if you open a door with a arrow with um, SCP-860, which is the key, uh, you go into this random forest. And on the other side is the other side of the User door. User joined your channel. Hello, User. Hello. And what's the Jesus, what's there's so many people in here. Holy crap! And what is the effect of the forest again? Or there isn't one. It's just got a weird blue mist. What now? There isn't one. It's just got a weird blue mist. It's one thirty in the morning. And why are you all still up? Hmm, I don't know. One thirty in the morning. It's like two thirty over here. Well, I'm an hour it's... behind you. And what I was doing, I was drunk, and now I got a headache. Why are you so dick? Because I decided to get a little buzz while watching Furcast, and now I got a headache. <laughs> so you need to drink hard liquor because you don't get as much of a headache. Until much I'm going to go drink my wine. But wine is terrible. You need to drink whiskey. Okay, I'm going back to LA. I tried whiskey, I and it sucks. I like my wine because it's tasty. I tried whiskey and I almost threw up. Wow. I think this is the most detailed frickin' reference sheet I ever made. Can you the first? No, this is the... Mostly. I made another reference sheets, but they weren't nearly as detailed. No. And it explains everything about my character. 
Including some secrets that he usually doesn't want people to know, and that's his teeth. And no, he's not a Vori person. And now I notice a paper left on my wall after throwing the party that says Doctor Who question mark next to my Doctor Who poster, and I don't know if I should be happy or disappointed. I want to listen to some music, but the people would probably get tired of listening to my crap. That's the point of muting a stream. Yeah, I muted the stream too. Because <laughs> yeah, it had an echo of your voice, and I was like, freaking out. Well, the because. One like that. Oh, because I sort of. Well, if I muted the stream, that means I would mute to uh, you guys, which means that then the stream wouldn't have anything going on. Exactly. Just me drawing. And this is rare a rare occasion that my streams have any type of sound, because I'm so used to doing, like, join me and you stream and crap like that. Alright, so... That's it. Um... I wish I was one of those peoples that uh, were a lot older, but one of those peoples that make sound effects like You Got Mail or You Got I'm Mail. I'm sorry, but please mail. deposit 25 cents to do this call or whatever the case may be. That way I could have one of those voices that is well known, like the AT&T voice by whatever that bitch's name. That way I could charge people for my voice. But... Have it so so that voice when when I want to fuck with somebody on the phone when they call me for like a telemarketer I can fuck with them to non belief. <laughs> Merry Christmas. The number you're trying to dial the the number you're trying to dial is incorrect. Let's try again. The number you have dialed is now in the toilet. Would you like to flush? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that number is unavailable right now. Please try your dial plan again. If that has failed, die. You should, like, test that out on a solicitor. I'm sorry, the caller you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please dial 1-800-FUCKBYCAMEL.COM i trying to think oh. if, um... I can find a computer somewhere that has a FireWire card, because I, I really I need to fucking, um, do the audio with another computer. I don't think so. So, Caleb, here's what I'm thinking. What were you doing that caused that, that jingle to fire? Um, that's, doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to disable that part of the control panel, so it won't matter. It had nothing to do with your script. Ah, oh, cool. All right, sweet. Your, the, our PHP system works flawlessly. The only annoying thing mm -hmm. is, it's really annoying to open two SSH sessions. Because I have to open one to run the track list, and then I have to duplicate it in PuTTY and run another session for the uh, PHP thing. Type in screen, once you open that bitch. Do screen, or no, once you type in screen, uh, once you have screen running, <coughs> control A S. Yep. But a capital mm -hmm. S. It'll split the screen, and then do Control A uh, tab, and that'll go down to the second screen, and then you do Control A C for create, and it creates another screen session. And at that point, you can do Control S. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, fuck! I'm trying this right now. Hold on. Fuck, faggot. Where are my bitches at? I think they all left. Because I was just gonna run them with screens so that they were always running. The only problem is I don't want it to endlessly generate fucking PHP errors. By the way, we are now entering the tech talk of this live stream. Oh, okay. Paradox, Paradox take, it take it away. So you have two binary bytes and four fucking integers. What are you going to do in your code, right? So this time, we basically created an array of an object, and that array of an object is <laughs> JSON encoded. Oh, We're my God. <laughs> so, okay, I have screen running, so uh, Control-A-S. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me just say this real fast. Hit control, hit A. No, don't do it yet. Control A, and then let go, and then do capital S. 
Tried it, didn't do anything. Fuck me, hold on. Oh, hold on. Control A. Wait a minute, it's like frozen, what the fuck? Sometimes if you do it wrong, it'll freeze the fuckers. Make sure yeah, it just froze my fucking session, what the shit? Technical error, hello. Furcast does now have a technical error. Please stand by. Warning! Technical error has been detected on Furnix. Now rebooting server. Okay, so I'm root, so now off screen. Alright, so space to return, so screen's working. Control A, then let go, then capital S. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, so, if you do that, you should have a blank thing underneath, right? Yeah, this, yeah. Okay. Where is your cursor, the little green thing? Is it up above or is it below? Up above. Okay, do Control A, C. So Control A, let go, C. Real fast. Didn't do anything. Okay, hit Control A, tab. Control A, then let go, then tab. Yep, yep. There you know, I'm down there. Okay, now do Control A, C. Bam, got root. Got root. Okay, now once you do that, you can then do Control A, tab, and it'll flip up to the top one. Control A, tab, go to the bottom one, so on the Oh, that is so fucking awesome. Okay, awesome. now do Control A, Capital S again. As many as you want. Three. Three. Merry Christmas. How do you? How do I get rid of that one? I have no fucking idea. No, it's um. Hold on a second. Let me tell you. To get rid of it, you're going to. Well, I think I already did. I think I just got rid of all of them. I hit Control A and then X. Yeah, that X is. Oh no! It actually layered them. I just typed exit, it exited to the next one. I had typed exit, it exited to the other one, and then I typed exit, and now screen terminated. Okay, to uh, get, okay, so once you go into to split screen, uh, you have to capitalize. So when you do Control A X, you have to capitalize the X and remove active window from split screen. And then it makes that session the top one, and then you can switch between them by. Yep. I'll be right back. I have to go pee. How do I... It's, it's AD to get out of it, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a it. detach. Yep. D detaches. S creates split screen. Um, a tab is uh, switch between split screens. How do I list which screen sessions are open with the screen command? Um, that will be, uh, um, so once you have screen running, type in screen space minus capital D R with a capital R as well. Oh, there we go. So I have two detached screen windows. Okay. Mm -hmm. To attach a screen, basically do screen space minus R the PID ID. And then the ID, so... So I'll do four six five. Okay, I think hold up. What time is this? Okay. Uh, currently almost midnight. Thank you for contacting Two, Verizon three. Wireless on the web at Verizon.edu. Wait, that's right. Okay, I think I've got to stop. So if I do um if I do dr and there's only one session open, it'll just immediately attach to it, right? Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to stop the stream, and then I'm going to start it back up, because I need to, like, save, because it's, like, going on an hour and 40 minutes. Two hours and 40 minutes. It might. I don't know. I don't think so.